Hey everybody. Good to see you all here. Um, it is a wonderful 3.35 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Sunday afternoon for me. And I know you all are all over <laughs> the world. So very, very cool to see you guys here. Thank you, thank you. Oh, Paige, I hope your puppy gets better. I hope your puppy gets better. Uh, now, if the music's too loud, we're gonna try the background music again today. Um, let me know. I can always turn it down. I can turn it up. I can do whatever. I'm gonna get myself over into the game now, though. Sorry, it's kind of weird about let me be in on this page <laughs> and get everything set up. So we should be good. Um, let's say hi to everybody. I see a Holly. I see Paige. I see Ashley. And I think I said Green Bean in here earlier. Green Bean? The chats have gone away. I forgot your name. I'm so wrong. Uh, I forgot your name wrong. I'm so sorry. <laughs> sorry, I can't speak today. Crispy. So, so. Glad to see you all. Glad to see you all. So I'm going to get us in here and we're going to have all kinds of fun today. And just do let me know if the music is too loud or too quiet. Um, it should be hopefully to where you can hear the game sounds, but not be blasting out your eardrums. <laughs> so we're going to hop in here. We are on day 10 in winter. Um, there's a couple things I want to do, but mostly I just want to do noob stuff. We're low on materials. Uh, we need to move people in. I think we have the bank coming in today and the um, the clothes shop. So let's go over here because we planted way too many crops since we have an individual uh, watering can like it does one spot at a time because we don't have the new license yet. <laughs> so we got to deal with that. And um, well, I got stuff all over in here. Uh, we're going to need this axe. We are kind of prepared where we went in the mines last time, so that's why our bar looks like it does. Um, we have these here because we process grass seed in this doohickey mabobber out here. It gives you feed, but I don't really need the feed. I bought the feed. I need the experience in uh, farming because <laughs> I need a better watering can. I need a better watering can, guys. <laughs> Ah, uh, I clicked this with the thing selected. Let me do this. That's better. We're just going to take all those real quick. So, um, if you weren't here last time, we finished up the waterfall. Uh, it looks prettier once it's a bit more sunshine. Um, I'm, I left this pile of dirt here. My bad. I'm thinking about maybe adding a little bit of waterfall to the back to where it goes into a cute little pond that does a very narrow little pond here because I don't want to take up all the beach. Um, we did some stuff with the orchard. We've got the animals over here. We need to feed them. So let's, um, do I still have a bag of feed on me? There we go. We got a whole bunch in the storage here anyways. Oh, there's our, our friend. Hi. I shouldn't hold the axe at our friend. So let's grab one of these bad boys. And we'll put it there. And we're gonna feed our little itty bitty chickens. So yeah, we're still totally new. New, new, new. Early, early, early. Ooh, watering can. Um, I got it from Rain's tent when she showed up and visit. I bought it from her. So I definitely bought it from Rain's tent. So, yep, yeah, I am very early. And she also sells it in her shop when she moved her to town as well. So let's... Oh, I wanted to go pet the second chicken and I was walking towards Irwin. I was about to try to pet Irwin. <laughs> Start Irwin's day off right. Oh, goodness. <laughs> thank you, Ashley. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Holly, we got some stuff done. Now, this is... I'm planning on this being, uh, like, wandering down into this garden uh, farm area. But we need a lot more farmland because I want to get the tractor and have a big farmland area as well. But we may have one smaller farm plot. Oh, she's not open yet. And one bigger. She's plant shop, so she didn't open like, 11 a.m. Um, need anything, Rain? Catch a fly? We'll try. We'll try. Um, so this first day um, in game, this in game day, we're not going to do much with actually. Oh, the shop's really open. We need to water these. This takes like a lot of in game time when you can only do this. <laughs> I really, really, really need the better farming license. Help. Getting food early game is hard. I highly recommend what I'll do. It's kind of sketch um, because it's a little bit dangerous. I will do all my stuff during the daytime, right? I'll let it get to late time. And then I'll keep a little stack of like cooked lime bush, uh, cooked bush lime on me or cooked bananas. 
And then in the late night, you have that little itty bitty energy bar. Um, gathering from the trees, the fruit trees does not take energy. So I'll run around most of the map in the early game during the late night, and I will gather from the fruit trees and get lots and lots of fruit. And then cooking at your campfire doesn't take energy either. So then I'll, stack, I'll cook a few stacks of the fruit that I got during the late times, during the late times before I progress to the next day. Now, it's a little bit dangerous because you have an itty bitty energy bar while you're doing that. But as long as you keep a little bit of food on you enough to where you could, let's say if your character was walking really slow, eat a piece and then walk normal speed to get home, you're pretty fine. But beware that swimming across little rivers does eat away at that energy as well. So, um, it's a little bit risky, but that's how I got stacks of food at the beginning of the game. And I wasn't wasting my full in-game days to get it, you know? So that's what I did. Um, if they ask you to do a task and it's one you know you can't do that day, it's no big deal. Um, it is apparently better if you can't do the task to tell them, oh shoot, I can't do the task, um, than to do the task. So let's uh, use a waddle brew. Let's get our energy up. Okay, let's uh, do this because we need to get these crops watered. Now, when you start to get a better weapon, you can start killing crocodiles and stuff. Crocodile meat cooks into a really good food. Uh, someone last stream came in and helped me. It gives uh, this, but let me see if I can, well, drag this up here and then hover over it. Uh, so 25 health and 25 energy, and it gives a bonus to it. So um, basically you have a, more of a bar to work with. So uh, killing the crocodiles is good. Mm, yeah, I uh, I try to avoid them and I run and I try not to uh, if I'm running around after the late hours I do not attack any animal and if it tries to attack me I run 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 So basically I always try to keep myself at an energy level where I can run when I'm in the late nights wandering So it is risky. Um, you, you can do that. You can die. <laughs> but that's what I do. Oh watering can Come on bud so we're gonna get these water and then we're running to town um we may get most of these water and then run to town because if they give me quests and stuff i want to be able to do stuff in town but i think this first in-game day today is gonna be mostly a little bit of like maintenance and doing stuff because when i was working on town stuff the other day um i didn't get to water my crops every day <laughs> because this takes a while i may have made a mistake planting this many crops without having the next level of farming license to get a better watering can. So, oops, my bad. Next Animal Crossing stream, um, probably gonna be Wednesday or Thursday if I had to guess, Holly, but I'm not exactly sure. I know we're doing Disney Dreamlight Valley Monday because we need to finish the Star Path because it's ending. And uh, then after that, it's kind of open game. Um, where we did like, what, I, how many streams did we do this week? Six streams this weekend? Uh, my chores fell behind, so I'm probably gonna take Tuesday to do chores and stuff because oh my goodness, it's like a tornado ran through here and I have no idea. <laughs> uh, so we'll get taken care of for sure. Just, you know, I think this one's gonna be, I need more of this waddle brew. It really does help. Let's see. But yeah, I need to make, I need to, I need to focus on just, you know, trying to get our stuff taken care of. Now, the town layout we we're working on, I was thinking about how I want it. And I think I need it to be a little bit uh, deeper and wider than what it is for me to do what I want to do. So we may end up moving literally everything in the town. <laughs> um, not today, because that's a lot of project. But we may have a whole stream where we plot out the town layout a bit better. Because I realized if I want to put like plants and stuff next to the paths, some of my paths for the buildings on the right hand side are a bit too close together. So I'll show you what I mean. Oh, we gotta put these traps back out where we're over here. Um, there's supposed to be a better way for me to set this up. I'm kind of just doing um, what I watch Crossing Minute do with these and just use them whenever we come by and we happen to have animals here. Sh a shambles. Oh, yeah. A sprinkler would be so handy about right now. 
Um, so we have two buildings coming in. I definitely like this. So you see how the banks that can be right there? That feels awfully close because you're literally going to have the path right here and right here. And then that feels like you're in like a downtown metropolitan area. And that's not what we're going for. So I'm thinking what we may do is we may take the bank and we may leave this little place open for like a little water feature. We may take the bank and we're gonna, I think, leave this place open for a water feature or a little garden thing. We may take the bank, and over on this side, the bank may come down like here across from Town Hall. And then um, the restaurant thingy may go here across from John's shop. So basically, um, and then something here. But I'm thinking on the side, we maybe just have like the one shop, but that feels kind of weird if we only have one shop. So then my mind went to, well, what if we push the gazebo back? Because I want the gazebo to be center. <laughs> and if we push the gazebo back um, and make it to where I have more space in between these shops, that would work. So I think in a future stream, we're going to push the gazebo further back and uh, we're going to have it be more of an actual square square because right now it's a, a, it's a rectangle. <laughs> so we may push the gazebo back a bit and then have it be more of a big square to where we can fit three shops on each side. Um, without a problem. Um, this side maybe won't have shops on the side because right up to the river, but you kind of get the idea. Uh, basically, this layout is probably gonna have to change. I think it's too close together, uh, but that's okay. We don't have anyone visiting in town today. It's okay, Holly, no problem. Um, I completely understand. I'll make sure and post on the, I'll try to my best to post the community channel. Sometimes it's hard for me to remember. Because when I have the streams go up, I try to post a few places because where we stream a variety of games, you never know if people are going to see the streams and show up. It's all about if YouTube is feeling nice and wanting to be kind to us. Let's see if she's, um, let's just chat to her first. Um, so what's up? Oh, she's talking about South City. Aw. Okay, let's talk to her again. Everywhere in the bear layout. It's all good, Crispy. I'm sure it'll come together. I'm sure it'll come together. It's gonna be great. Um, let's talk about the town. Deeds. Ah, uh, we need to pay off our last one. Okay, let's pay off the last one real quick. Cause I wanna get stuff um, built, right? So let's go ahead and donate uh, the max. I like this max button. There we go. So we just paid off our town debt. Ooh, let's see what we got in here point wise wet thumb 100 points hey nice okay now let's talk to her let's talk about the town deeds let's try to place another building um oh a storage shed i would love 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 because you get three houses um in addition to your town that you can place you can use them as storage he sheds you can use them as guest houses you can use them as whatever it is you want um i want to make a storage shed for my house so let's grab one of these um and that'll be good. Okay, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna grab this while we're here. We're gonna need to get the materials put in the box for this today and choose a place. A froggy hat from doing a fair for John. Oh, that's so cool. Um, I got a tiger hat. Um, I've seen a few cute ones. Um, they have a cat one in, but it covers the face. So it reminds me of Batman. I kind of wish they had like a calico cat one or something without the eyes being covered. But there's a few really, really cute animal ones. Oh, thank you, Ashley. I hope it's going to look good. I hope it's going to look good. It's just going to take a while to get tweaked and looking right, you know? Now, um, we have some points. So I want to figure out what we're doing. Because the next is a flying vehicle. That's 7,200. I'm not doing that yet. I don't care about signs yet. I'm building uh, windmills to speed up production tasks. So I think that would help, like the wine kegs tool belt expands my slot by one that's expensive for that cargo license expand my pockets by three that's kind of nice animal processing for making milk we don't have the big animals up yet farming we have not leveled up enough yet to get the next uh thing which i desperately need uh trapping advanced animal traps those are better in some way i just don't know how fishing license you can see bubbles i don't care about that right now better axe so i think what we'll do it's just to be safe. Like, let's say we got the farming up high enough today and then tomorrow we couldn't afford it. I would feel really sad because I need that watering can. Let's not buy a license yet. Oh, let's ask her if she has a task she needs though. Yo, Fletch, um, let's chat. Do you need anything today? 
a yellow grass butterfly in the tropics. Okay, we need to catch a fly and a yellow grass butterfly. So apparently we're doing that. Um, I don't remember. Erwin asked us a favor. Is it supply? Okay. Oh, I wasn't going to sell you anything. My bad, bud. Let's not disappoint him. Here's some bush limes. Here, it's fine. Oh, here. Have have some waddle. 705 dinks. <laughs> We're rolling in the dinks. Want to chat, bud? Oh, I wanted to ask you if you need a favor. I want to chat again, bud. Got a job for me. Um... Oh, sorry. I have to scroll through the chat and see if I can find it. One sec, Holly. A blue moon butterfly. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's see. Ooh, Holly. So, until I complete my hard mode island, the only way I'm allowed to go to hard mode islands is on Sunday markets. I'm not currently doing Sunday markets. So, I can't go to hard mode islands right now. So, my plan is to try to complete my island. And then I was thinking once I complete decorating my animal, com completed decorating my Animal Crossing island, then I could go do uh, hard mode island visits and tours. But with the rules as they are, Sunday markets is a day I was allowed to visit. And since I'm not doing Sunday markets right now, I'm a little bit trapped in on that. They're kind of a little bit strict. Alpha Croco. I wonder if I can kill it now that I have a fire bat. We're probably gonna die. We should probably put our money away before we try this. But let's grab the quest. There we go. Let's see what he wants over here. I don't like this song. I'm gonna skip it. Let's see. Welcome to the museum. Would you like to chat? Do you need anything? A Barco Grunter. Ooh, we're already catching a bunch of bugs. So we're not gonna go after fish today. Because we need a... Oh, hello. So I got this fire thing now. So we can actually do some decent damage to these guys. He's going to come after me. Because their meat is good for food. There we go. Ta-da! And their teeth are good for a weapon. Now this one I want to capture because money. Hey you, come here. Come here, I'm just gonna... I'm, oh, the puppy has messed up my traps. Come here. Hey, come here. I'm not gonna hit you with a fire bat. I hit your friend with a fire bat. There you go. Oh. Woo, that was close. <laughs> Let's place these back down. The one bad thing about this placement is the puppies come over here and mess these up a lot, a lot. So let's grab this one. Put that bad boy back out. We'll put this one back out. Okay. Yeah, Alpha. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill that guy. I got this fire beat stick, but I wonder if I'm going to die. <laughs> so what we'll probably do is in the morning after we sleep, we may try that. That way, if we completely die, we can exit out the game without saving and go back in. Oh, well, very nice. He looks gonna look great, Holly. Yeah, it's transported away by balloon. He's like, what just happened, you know? Okay, do we have a blue moon in here? We don't. Those are not blue moons. And that's my queen bee. Okay, so let's put some stuff away and figure this out real quick. Because we gotta go catch some bugs. Gotta go catch some bugs. There we go. There we go. Oh yeah, I want to keep a stack of stone in here. So there. A stack of shiny stones. Right there. Our bags of cement. Ah, that's a seed. Bags of cement. Over here. And our copper. Over here. Sorry, they won't auto-sort in if you've taken all of them out. I tried to normally leave one, but I was in a hurry when I was playing earlier. So, oops. I didn't. <laughs> Seeds. We'll go back in here. We're going to try to keep the grass seeds on us to remember to process them in the thing. We already watered the crop. We're going to keep this on us so we don't forget in the daytime, though. Those will help with filler. Okay. So, on tools. Right now, 
We should have bought tools. The shop just closed. Um, we do have a shovel. It's a bit light on the shoveling. Do I have a bug net? Shoot. So we may have had to abandon our bug net in the mines because we got some really cool stuff to carry back. We may not be able to do any of their quests we just took. Oh, we're gonna be jerks. I don't think I have a bug net and John's shop closed at 4 p.m. Yep, we need to buy a bug net. Well, you live and you learn. So instead of doing their quest, we're gonna disappoint them greatly by not giving them anything. <laughs> so, uh, oops. And I don't think there's any way for us to, I think we have to buy it. Yep, yeah, no bug net. They got abandoned in the mines. It's okay, we can do a change of plans and gather materials. That'll be fine. We need materials anyways, so that'll be good. Oops. Ooh, I want to make a bee house, too. Um, we have the stuff for it, and we're gonna... What I want to do is I want to make, like, a little... Um, what's that called? A bee farm? Beehive farm area? Ellen, welcome. Welcome. Good to have you here. Unfortunately, can't. The only way I've found to get the bug nets are from John's shop and from when the bug competition's in. Uh, maybe later in the game we can make them, but I can't make them yet. So, these are the tools I can- weapons I can make. So, we're a little bit hosed, but that's okay. I really need to level up the gardening, so let's do this. Um, what- what does this take? Copper, old gears, gunwood planks, and old wheels. We have all of that except for the copper. So, let's track this. And, um, let's try to get some copper and make more of these, because if we can process a bunch of these seeds into feed, that's supposed to help the gardening level go up, right? So that would be extremely helpful to get more of these going. Um, I don't really need the feed, but I need uh, the, the gardening, the mining, uh, the farming level. Lordy Lou. So let's go mining. We have another pickaxe. Because <laughs> this pickaxe is the wussy one. It will fall apart pretty quick. Uh, what are these? Are any of these a fly? None of those are a fly. Cricket, grass, copper, scorpion. Um, we can make this if we have two copper bars, which I don't think we do. I think we are still in a copper shortage. Yep, we're basically out of copper. So let's go hunting for copper, guys. Change of plan. Um, now, one thing we could do is we could get ready to go into the mines in the morning, because if we go into the mines, we get a good amount of copper, too. Uh, but let's get what copper we can tonight. Uh, we did water the crops. We fed the animals. Um, and when we go into the morning, our buildings are going to be built. So that's going to be great, too. Um, I bet you, I can't remember if she's 11 to 4 or what. Yeah, she's already closed. I need to double check her shop hours. It can be hard to remember to go to these places. Her shop hours are 11 to 4. So she's very minimal time in her shop. Hey, Rain. How goes it? What's new? Oh, so um, let's talk to her again. Uh, let's see if she, she's going to say no. She said, I'd love to hang out with you if I knew you a bit better. Thanks anyways. Aww. So, um, let's go run and gather. Uh, we're just going to gather and uh, see what we can't get. We have an axe on us. I don't have my metal detector, so maybe no metal detecting. I put that away in storage. But we should be fine. And again, guys, if the music is too loud or too quiet, either way, let me know. And I can get it fixed up for you. I just, um, I'm hoping it's balanced well. Last time it was too quiet when I had the stream upload on YouTube. So um, I'm hoping it's a little bit better this time. But if it's not, feel free to tell me. And the other thing is we could go try to get that alpha and see if we die. Uh, but we would need to put away our money first. So maybe do that in the morning. <laughs> and put away our money. Oh, dude's here. This is Ted Sully. I don't have money because I just gave it all to the people. But let's uh, look at the recipes. Uh, can you make me something? Uh, so the bad zapper, I think, is what we want to make first. I might actually have a lot of this. I might have most of this. Um, it's just not the money. Because he wants 100k for it. So torch, thunder sack, hot cylinder, bright wire, glowing mushroom, iron bar. So, if you watch Reaps, um, he's running around in the mines and he holds it out in front of him and it zaps the, the bats. It's pretty useful. Um, so, let's put that in the to-get list. 
And then also the battle shovel. Um, we need to kill regular crocs to get their teeth. And we need to get some copper. Uh, we have everything else for that. So we'll grab a, a picture of that to save. As to do. And I really want this alpha hammer, but that's going to be later. It's expensive. And I don't know <laughs> where we get these alpha antlers from. But that's on the to-do list. Um, I do have the opals already. Let's see. Alpha spear. I don't know if that... I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of the spears, the pokey pokies. Alpha bat seems kind of neat. It takes a flaming bat. Alpha eyes. And then these are... Not 100% sure what a burly box is. It looks like you catch stuff in it. And I don't think I'll run the bow because I'm not good at aiming. <laughs> so we can't afford any of his stuff. Uh, we are a bit money light, but he's here. And if you hear the whistle, that's when you see Ted Soli. I've seen him on a few places on my map. Uh, this is my third time running into him, actually. And he doesn't go towards populated areas most of the time. Oh, Nightbot's a little bit of a liar today. It says it's been a whole hour. We should probably drink some water. It's been about 30 minutes. We should probably still drink some water. Uh, his staying hydrated is good. Now, someone on my last stream told me that if you don't chop down regular stone, um, you have less spawn-in points for like your copper and your tin, which is maybe why we've been on a copper shortage on our island. So, um, we can also just mine some straight-up stone while we're out here. And this helps us swim faster. <laughs> I should probably use it when we're going across. But yeah, we can just gather a bit and then we'll run back in. If you see copper, feel free to like holler at me because I desperately need my copper. There we go. And I don't think we're going to be doing as much decorating or stuff like that in game today. We're going to mostly be um, trying to get copper and stuff because I, when I run to Ted Sully next time, I want to be able to get that. Uh, we're probably going to place down that deed we got as well so that'll be good um i'm not 100 percent sure where we're placing it so i'm a bit torn on that so we'll look at some options i want it to be convenient to my place though because it's going to be a storage shed um that's why i want to make the first deed let's see any copper hey there's copper woohoo you have a tin shortage on yours i felt like that for a bit too That's okay, Holly. I hope you get to feeling better. And I'm not 100% sure. Um, Animal Crossing will either be Wednesday or Thursday. Um, either Wednesday or Thursday. I just don't know yet. Let's see. Um, I am light on tin right now as well. So um, let's try to hit up some of these regular stones and see if by killing those, they respawn in copper. Hey, Miss K. Welcome, welcome. Thank you for subscribing. Very glad to have you here. Very glad to have you here. Welcome aboard. Let's uh, let's gather, gather, gather. Now these are doggo den rocks, the big tall ones. Apparently you can print these now. I don't know if that then causes doggo den to respawn. If you make a doggo den, if you can like generate one. But as long as it's one of the original ones, anyways, they'll be fine. So. I have to learn more about the rocks, because apparently you can make them now somehow. And I don't know, it's part of the update that I haven't seen yet. Um, oh, hello, I accidentally picked that. Let's, um... can't remember, what's the energy on Waddle Brew? 25, plus he gives a bonus to mining for 10 minutes. Okay, that'll be fine. We don't need the health right now, so we don't need the croco meat. We need to make more Waddle Brews, though. There we go. And, uh... The croco meat is really, really good. So if we see any regular crocodiles, we can beat them down. Because I'm relatively confident with regular crocodiles right now. I just don't want to be going after the alpha. Oh, thank you, Holly. Thank you. I still can't believe I didn't buy a... I forgot that when we were in the mines, um, we got a bunch of good stuff, so we kind of had to abandon some of our tools. Oops. My, my bad. Because <laughs> next time I go into the mines, I don't care if we get any of the fish or bugs or anything. I'm going to be more focused down. Ooh, these guys get fire sacks, and I'm better at beating them up now. 
Um, I don't know if this fire thing is less effective against them since they're fire dogs. Someone's over there getting beat down. Bonus meat if we get this guy. Let's try the spear again. Spear hits for more. Oh, I'm on fire. <laughs> Run to the water. <laughs> I'm on fire. So I'm bad with the spear. I'm good with the bats because they sweep forward in a forward arcing motion. Um, but this is more damage. He's a fire dog, so I think... Shoot. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I need to get better at the pokey stick because uh, the fire bat doesn't seem to do much damage against the fire. Uh, I guess he's not a dog. He's like a, a boar or something. I don't know. I call him a fire dog or a danger dog. <laughs> he's not even a dog at all. <laughs> yeah, we need his parts. Hey, buddy. Let's fight you near the water. There we go. They're not too bad once you get used to them. You just kind of have to jump. But we can definitely use uh, their fire sacks. Did I even get one off of him? I don't know. But yeah, they're not too bad. So, over here. I'm trying not to die because I know we don't have much money, but we're carrying our only money on us right now. And I think you lose like, what, 10% of your money or something when you die? If we can find crocodiles, I need their stuff more. Ooh, there's two. I hit them both. He hit himself. His friend, he hit his friend. Woohoo! <laughs> two for one doggos. <laughs> Boars, whatever. <laughs> Sorry, I'm horrible. I'm horrible. Oh, thank you, buddies. Um, I will take this meat. They just get regular meat. No, no fire sacks. The ones in the mines I got fire sack from quite a bit. All good. All good. I don't think we're ready to take on the alpha, though. <laughs> Let's see. I'm going to grab a sip of my drink real quick. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I need to do that, Crispy. I just forgot. So I actually put a chest next to my mine entrance. So before I go into the mines, I'll remember to do it at least before I go into the mines. But I did not remember before I went out and about tonight. So I probably should have done that. And we are getting the bank as well. Um, the bank is just open certain hours, so I'm not sure the benefit of the bank yet. Um, basically, okay. As if I put my money in the chest, my money's in the chest. And my chest is there 24-7. So we'll have to check out the bank and see what the deal is with it. Because I'll be built in the morning. Because again, I'm a noob. You know, I'm just kind of exploring and finding things as I go. I've seen a few streams, but they've all been way further than me, you know? So I don't know their journey to get there and how they discovered when things were doing what. So I'm just finding out as I go. Listen, welcome. Welcome. How are you doing today? Glad you're able to come back. Um, let's hit some of these regular stone spots to see if we can't encourage copper and tin to come back in. Plus, we need stone. We're going to need a lot of cement and stuff because I'm going to use cement under a lot of the house foundations for the town area. And stone also makes those cute little rock paths. There we go. Now, we do need copper because I really, really, really want to build those grain mill thingies because I need to up my farming level. I very, very much need to up my farming level. Now, those little, um, these little guys are surprisingly fast, um, so I don't want to attack them right now while I have money on me. Uh, they don't tend to attack you unless you attack them, though. Come on, copper. Show up anywhere. Wow, well, I'm having bad aim. And thank you everyone for hanging out. I'm glad to have you all here. Um, I was hoping to stream a couple hours earlier in the day, but there was no way. Uh, the Diablo 4 open beta, I ended up streaming a good six hours last night for that instead of where I was planning on doing like three or four. So <laughs> I, I slept in. I didn't even set an alarm. <laughs> I just slept in. 
I don't know if we have this squiggly guy donated yet. Oh, we don't have a net. Never mind. Darn. I forgot. <laughs> Semi regretting leaving the net in the mine. It's okay. We'll buy a new one when the shop opens. We'll definitely buy a new one when the shop opens. Come on, copper. You know you want to exist on my island. I know. It's like, hype for copper. <laughs> Please, let copper show up. Copper, copper, copper. We'll grab these apples while we're out here. Might as well not go home empty handed. We did get three copper, which means we can make one copper bar between that and what we have in the storage, which means we are one fourth the way to making one grain thingy. One fourth the way to one grain thingy. And realistically, we need to be running a lot of those um, and processing grain every day, seeds every day so that we can up our gardening level because we need to be able to water more than one square at a time. Ooh, it is the late times. So my late time foods are the cooked lime bush uh, because, ooh, how do I want to place this? Oops, we'll put these over here because I don't want to use a, a very nice food to fill very minimal energy on my bar, right? So we just use cooked lime bush and also my energy's up. So let's track our way home. Oops. And we're actually far closer to this teleport. So let's uh, track the teleport tower and we'll run on up there. Uh, we're gonna keep our weapon out just in case. And if we see copper on the way, we'll be good. But you can still run around in the late times. Just if you do anything that involves energy, don't let yourself get dead uh, and eat a little bit of food. Now swimming takes energy. So to plot our way across, Let's grab our surfboard. Can we walk on this? Almost. It's just a little bit too deep. We can walk on that. There we go. Minimal energy used. And we're on our way to the tower and we're looking for copper on the way. Hey, it's Mikiel. How are you doing? How are you doing? Um, you can get copper from shiny stones, but I get very minimal. Um, very, very minimal. Um, I processed like 15 shiny stones the other day and I think I got like four copper out of it. So I may just have bad luck, but I don't have good luck with copper. <laughs> and we are going to be changing this town layout quite a bit. We're not going to move this until we're more sure on the layout because we're not working on the layout tonight. We are going to put our shed down. Um, I can process any shiny stones we got and see if we get copper. I think I have one, maybe somewhere, but um, we got a legit three copper from that whole journey. So I think what we'll do is we'll place our shed, um, figure out where we're gonna put our storage shed, and then we'll prepare to go in the mines first thing in the morning. Uh, and what we'll do is we'll wait for John's shop to open, buy a mining pass, buy our net, <laughs> and a few tools from him, drop that stuff up in the box outside of the um, mines. And I think we're gonna just plan, plan a trip into the mines because going into the mines will for sure get us copper. Now, where's the late night? We can get some stuff done here because some of our fruits are ready so we can grab fruits because it's not gonna take energy to harvest. So I like to do things like harvesting in the late nights. Uh, so we'll grab these real quick. Now, if I did put uh, one tree in between each of these, they would be a little bit closer together and wouldn't look as aesthetically pleasing. But I would get twice the harvest every time they grew. So that's something for us to think about if we care about the rows of trees being aesthetically pleasing or not. Uh, because I could do that. And then basically we'd end up with twice the fruit money every single time. So definitely a thing. There we go. I'm gonna go over here and grab. Now the one thing is they do come outside the fence, but not a big deal. It's pretty easy to just uh, plop them all down and pick them all up. There we go. There we go. And thank you everyone for hanging out. I'm so glad to have you all here. It definitely makes it far more fun when you got people to hang out with while you're playing. Now um, today, the next day in game, these will grow in and we'll have blossoms on them. Those are the wattle and bottle brush uh, bushes things. Um, so they'll be yellow and red, which will be very cool. Um, we'll be able to see those in the morning. And our bank will open in the morning as well. So it's going to be a very eventful day. Now the only thing is going into the mines. Um, by the time we're out of the mines, Rain's shop, shop will be closed. So basically, we won't be able to go to Rain's shop tomorrow. 
which is fine. These haven't grown back yet. Let's uh, pick up what we got here. There we go. Get ourselves some fruit and stuff. I think we're going to end up with a really cool area because I got some plans. Um, and over this next week, I do plan to also have a stream where we decorate. But right now, I'm more worried about getting our gardening license because watering those 125 crops every day, one by one, it takes up a good portion of our day. <laughs> so, oh, well, we're here. Let's just grab this. I know it's not copper, but might as well. And so you can mine um, about two nodes um, on the low energy. And then just need to cook bush slime. It's fine. Okay, we got our crops. First camper is green. Hippo don't have spell, so I don't like the one. Oh, I'm, yeah, your computer. I'm so sorry about your motherboard. Are you gonna order a new motherboard as Mikiel? Uh, let's see, sorry, I'm going back and catch up the messages. Hey, Kimmy. How are you doing? Glad to see you all here. Alan, hey. Aw, good morning, Alan. Um, I wasn't sure if you were awake and I kind of slept into the last minute. So I'm gonna call you after stream though. How are you doing? Welcome, welcome aboard. Um, guys, if you if you don't know, Alan is a um, very, very uh, good, wonderful, real life friend uh, to me, so. <laughs> He's also one of our mods. <laughs> Welcome aboard to Alan. But yeah, no, I, I didn't call. I'm sorry. But yeah, no, I crashed after that Diablo stream. Oh my goodness. That was like six plus hours. And I was just completely dead to the world. Oh, feet shouldn't stink if you wash them. Just saying. Feet shouldn't stink if you wash them. There we go. So we're going around, we're gathering some stuff, and let's get prepared to go into the mines. Let's get prepared to go into the mines. And then we have some shops coming in. Um, I'm very glad you're here for the stream, Alan, because we've been doing some cool stuff. Like this is the area I showed you the picture of. Um, we had the beginning of the pond here, but we terraformed it over this way and added in the waterfall. I really like it when the sh light is shining bright on it or at the nighttime. And I know we can plant some plants in these water beds as well, so we may change this up a bit at some point and add more plants. Storm's so loud, the house was shaking? Really? The storm went through here and I heard like the apartment building shaking, but I was too tired and I just kind of fell asleep. I didn't even put my phone on the charger. It currently says it's like 8%. <laughs> so I'm hoping it doesn't die. I'm hoping it doesn't die. Um, let's grab this here. Kind of a mess and all over the place right now. I will put some tin. Oh, I don't have any more to put in. Let's put away some stuff. So we're still light on the copper. We cannot make another grain thingy, which is extremely unfortunate. Um, we can cook a bunch of fruit, but that would be very boring. And we may cook a couple just to make sure we have um, easy food because I don't always want to be using the big food, right? Now let's go in here. Uh, we need to grab these because if we're gonna go into the mines, we need more of this energy brew because I got one, <laughs> I used them. So these go in here. We need more of these as well. Uh, basically we're light on everything that we need at the moment. Uh, flowers, let's grab some of this and let's put it over here. And we still want to place the storage shed deed as well. Let's get these processing. Now, even if those process, we only have three of those going into the mine. So let's um, cook our croco meat we got today. There we go. Let's hope we have more croco meat. Do we? Nope, that is it for the croco meat. We're gonna be running light. Oof, okay. Let's toss those bad boys in there. No skeleton pets. <laughs> Well, I mean, Necromancer build was great. It was great. Let's see, I'm going through the chat. Sorry, one sec. Going through, guys. You're planning on going to the mine too? Good luck, so, so good luck. Oh, smug villager, oh no. New stuff's coming tomorrow, so it's not that bad, but the money. Yeah, I mean, I'm a bad influence, but um, if it was still sold by Amazon and you ordered it, 
and let's say the new one that you had quote unquote came in not working and you had to ship it back to get a refund I'm not encouraging something like that but won't hurt Jeff Bezos won't hurt Jeff Bezos honey <laughs> sorry I'm a horrible human being to even suggest it but just my two cents on it just my two cents I'm glad your parts are coming in though now um if it does it again i would definitely do that because at that point you don't even know if it was the new part that was bad or not hey cody welcome 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 to the stream glad to have you here haven't done mine yet they are scary you don't order from amazon for reasons oh well if you were to this would be the time <laughs> this would be the time let's see we need to water. We're gonna take the flaming bats in. They're not fully charged up. Um, we gotta buy a pickaxe too. We're gonna be going in with regular pickaxe. Maybe we need to go into tomorrow's day and do some more stuff with getting ready and then go into the mines. Because if we're gonna go in with one regular pickaxe, we're gonna run out of pickaxe part way through the mine. So that's problematic. And we don't have enough copper on us to upgrade. Can we make. Uh, Ooh, we could go and buy the license for the better mining tools and then we can make iron pickaxe that's probably our better idea so let's uh, go into the next day because if we can make an iron pickaxe we'd be better off because then we don't have to just use this weak pickaxe it's gonna fall apart real quick so let's get the upgraded mining tool license before we go into the mine um, so basically the in-game day tomorrow, we're going to upgrade the mining tool license and get ready to go into the mines. And today, this next day, we're just going to do stuff like water our crops and get everything ready. So that'll actually be fine. Plus the clothing shop's coming to town today for the first time and the bank is going to be here for the first time. So we want to check those out. So let's delay the mine by one day so we don't get hosed. Because if you go into the mines not prepared, you're screwed, you know? And uh, I prefer for us not to be screwed. So let's do this. We'll put away the furgrass seeds. I want to keep the other seeds on us because we're trying to process them in into that machine we can't afford to make more of. I really need more of this machine because I suppose this is going to help us level our uh, farming up. And I prefer not to water my crops individually, one at a time, when there's 125 of them. So, so. Let's see, I'm at five seconds into the mines. Oh no. Hey, Billy, how are you doing? How are you doing? Biz like half his money in divorce. He needs to go fund me, if anything. <laughs> Alan, you're hilarious. Oh, yeah. So the licenses are just basically their way of managing how you progress in the game. Um, so basically how you upgrade your tools. So if you think of it, it's more like buying a tool upgrade, but you get more than one upgrade with it. So it's actually a really efficient way of doling out upgrades. So you don't have to buy like just the recipe to upgrade one thing. You might get multiple things that get upgraded with the recipe, or you might get one thing that upgrades with it. Um, but it's a license. But I kind of think it like some of the things like crafting recipes and ability to do things. So it's actually really, really neat the way they've done it. Okay, so let's go ahead and put these bad boys away. Okay. So, since we're going to delay going into the mines by one day, I think that'll be fine. Let's grab this back on here. Let's go ahead and try to figure out where we're going to place this storage shed. Because we do want to go ahead and get that storage shed going. So, if we imagine we're going 10 this way with the platform, house here... 10 this way at the platform. Let's make sure we count it out right. And I don't know if that counts as a square or not. So one, we'll count it for right now theoretically. One. I need to grab the measuring tape. It's in my house. Let's, let's, mm, let's not. I don't want to learn the measuring tape right now. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Okay. So I think that bush line's not counting. So let's try this again. Okay, I wanna make sure it's same distance each way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then the edge of the fence is 11. So not counting the bush. Let's make sure the same on this side. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh-oh, 10. <laughs> um, I think what we'll do is we'll chop off one from the end over here to make sure we're the same because I don't want us being further out, right? Now, this is gonna be hard uh, because our shovel's almost dead and our character's tired. But if we're gonna be placing a storage shed, we wanna make sure we're the right distance over here. So we're actually one too far over this way. So um, let's grab this because we won't be able to remove anything with something on top of it. Let's pickaxe this off of here. I guess I have to be on top. There we go. And let's grab our shovel. My poor character. She's like, what on earth are you doing to me? And we'll eat this. There we go. Yeah, poor business. I don't think everyone, anyone ever means it if they say that. We're just gonna make this an infinitely tall pillar for right now. We'll deal with it later. Now, if we walk for a second, it should regen our health. There we go. Now, did I mess this up because of this? So let's see, one, two, three on this side. Let's go over here, make sure we're one, two, three on this side. Ooh, no, one, two, three, four on this side. Let's do, redo our counting real quick, because I don't want us to be screwed up. Because if that's the case, we need to move this stair over one to the left. <laughs> Would be our easy fix, because this has a path going to it. We're not moving the whole entire thing with a path. That's just not happening. And that's not the actual wheelbarrow, that's the flower bed wheelbarrow. Uh, we have a wheelbarrow around here somewhere, but I don't know where I put it. It's kind of lost. So I think that will be what we need to do. Let's grab the tape measure and play with it just to make sure. Let's just make sure. Because we're in the late night, so our time's not moving anyways. So we'll put those over there. Tape measure time. So from the uh, hedge... That's the shovel. Oh, gosh darn it. <laughs> let's put this back down. And let's put our shovel right here. There we go. Place up. Ooh, pick these up real quick. Now, from here. Tape measure. One. Okay, I think I, I press and I pull. This is nine. Slight problem. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We actually need to pull this out one, if anything, because it's 10, including the fence coming from this side. Yeah, that's 10 when you include the fence. Now let's, um, I don't know how to get rid of that. Let's do it here. Eight, nine, eleven. So it may actually be better so we have more space. If let's decide how we want to do this. So we'll grab that. It's hard to see over here because we're all chopped up here now. So that would be ten, including the fence. So 10 including the fence edge, if you imagine the fence edge come down. So if we chop this down one on this side, so that's 10 including the fence edge. And that's 10 including the fence edge. Okay, so that would actually be fine. So just go with our plan of chopping down the one side. So 10 including the fence edge. Let's just double check to make sure. Yeah, we'll just chop this one down. That's our easy fix. So we chop that down. Now we then are left with the problem of fixing this. So this one is one, two, three from the edge. That means if we chop down the right side one, we need to move this over one here. So this is three from the edge. So let's do this real quick because this is gonna be easy. Easy move. Easy movies, easy fix. Minus the lack of the energy. But we can eat some limes. We need to push our character. Make her extremely tired. <laughs> it's all good. Have fun, Alan. Have fun. 
Um, so we're gonna move this all over one and this is gonna be a little bit hard simply because we got to stay fed and not pass out now uh, let's grab this and get on our bar make our life a little bit easier uh, and honestly when you find something like this I find it far better just go ahead and fix it while you're in here so sorry if it's a little bit boring but we're gonna fix it um, it'll be better that way we aren't worried about it later because otherwise you're worried about it later okay so we grab that now what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring our shovel back our shovel's almost dead which is problematic that's the spear and we're just gonna move this over like so and we're not gonna have enough soil here let's grab our pickaxe there we go we'll go in there and we're gonna go ahead and grab our soil from here move that there and we're gonna go ahead and make this stone make this stone make that stone this one needs to be wood we'll grab that real quick grab that bad boy i need to be the top of the place wood 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 we're out of wood how am i out of wood <laughs> let's go grab a piece of flooring real quick from the storage there we go, we'll grab one of these. Perfect, that should be all we need from that. I will put that up there at the flooring, there we go. Now, let's go place that one down. I can't believe that was one off like that. That's kind of um, interesting. But now we know what we need with our placement, so it's gonna be much better. And we know what our plan is for the daytime, so that'll be good too. There we go. Now, this one has three here, and we're 10 wide, including the fence edge. And this will be 10 wide, including the fence edge as well. Um, let's go ahead and that's gonna be wood actually that we need there. I didn't bring another piece of wood with us, um, but that'll be good because now we know this line here has to go away um, we do have the dirt compactor um, i would prefer to move the dirt because we're going to use it but we can get rid of it you got prince eric very nice i know right it's like hey, i need to fix it now once i find this an issue we're gonna grab the compactor he doesn't have a lot of charge on him uh, so we're gonna be very careful we're gonna put the measuring tape back up since we know what we're doing now and honestly, it's a more of a triple check it thing and make sure we're right before we proceed. Because if we're gonna place this storage shed down, we need to make sure our other stuff is good. Because if our other stuff is not good, everything's gonna be permanently off. Because once it cascades, everything goes to, we need to be on top to do that. Everything goes to you know what. So we need to not let it cascade. Okay, there we go. That's how we're gonna get it. Let me get rid of that real quick. There we go. We used a little bit of the compactor and that's fine. And what we'll do is we'll probably, um, real quick, grab the shovel. We're gonna convert some of this to sand. Yo, shovel, did you die? Oh, there you are. Perfect. Uh, because if we convert that to sand, I think it'll, oops, helps if I actually grab the sand. I think it will transition better. There we go. Now, we need to not let ourselves pass out. Main goal is not passing out. But I think we'll be fine so long as we're careful. There we go. Ah, I put it in the same place. Sand conversion underway. Okay, now uh, let's eat a piece of food real quick. I think that definitely smooths out the transition, so that'll be good. And now, <laughs> we're going to be able to place our storage shed without worrying. We'll put that back. I actually kind of like the way that soil transitions a bit better doing that anyways. So now we have the proper number of fence on each side. Oh, we should maybe put the stairs back. My bad. My bad. There we go. Let's rotate those bad boys. I really like how the stone and the wood peeks out from under and you have that nice transitional mix. Okay, so now we can pick out where we're gonna put our, our storage shed. 
Now, if we have our fencing here, I almost think we do a cute little storage shed just right here along um, the side of our house platform, just lower. Um, it's an idea, I'm not sold on it yet, because it's gonna take up a significant chunk of our beach real estate. Um, let's free the camera, build camera. Can I go out further? I wish I could go out further. So that's not where the platform ends back there. It was where it was going to, um, but we were off one row. So we could have the storage shed kind of here and we could have some stairs to go down off our platform over to here. Um, we'd want to line up with our house, I think, if we're doing that. So um, the front of the, sh the house is here. So I think what we'll do is we'll dig a, a hole in front of that to kind of make sure we're lined up. And what I'm kind of imagining is if we do this, we're gonna, let's check the curvature of the beach on the map. Uh, we could push the curvature of the beach, but it would be a massive project because I'd want to change the whole curvature out a little bit. So we're probably gonna want to keep the shed pretty darn close to the platform. Mines are spooky. They are spooky. They are spooky. So if we're gonna imagine, I'm just gonna kind of place this here so I have a little line that would be the front. We're gonna imagine if we had the storage shed here, we could have some cute little one wide stairs maybe coming down in front of the storage shed, just down to the beach. And then we just have our storage shed on the beach. Cause I wanna save the platform up there for other things. So let's mental image this. If we're gonna put the storage shed there, um, do we want a space between the platform and the shed or not? Because we can put it literally shed up to the wall. I think a space might be nice. But we still won't be able to walk around it. So a space, but not two. And then it's right up here. And then the little stairs will come down. And then you'll have just a cute little area uh, with a storage shed on the beach. So that's an option. Now, the other option is if we were to build this platform up, we could have the storage shed up here next to our house. Um, it does take up area because this is our current processing area but it's not gonna be enough once we have like four or five of each of these things. Mm, what do you think is, what do you think better? Storage, cute little storage shed on the beach so we don't take up the platform area? Now, the other option we have is we can theoretically extend this platform out back further as well and take up this area, but this is kind of where I wanted to have my helicopter pad and my docks. Beach idea? Okay, let's have a beachside storage shed for now. And if we want to move it in the future, we will. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, work on this. We'll put them here. Uh, so one away from the platform. And that'll be our storage shed. Let's grab our shovel back. Now, while we're doing this, uh, the storage shed's gonna be right there. Um, we might as well, because I don't want this one to be I don't want this stair to come right directly in front of it. I think it would be like a here type deal, you know? Because I'm imagining maybe not a two wide. So let's maybe a one, maybe a one. Like a cute little narrow stair just off to the side and then comes here. So I think that's what we'll do. Um, but it would need to go in one more because Guess what? <laughs> we still need to do that. <laughs> still needs to come down proper. Do we have any more? Yeah, we have some stone, so we can plop that down. Let's grab some of the wood. And then let's grab the stairs because we can at least get that little framework ready. So when we have that in the morning, it'll look good. So we'll grab some stone real quick and some wood. Um, there's the hardwood. There's a brick. I should have just took half of that. Um, let me put the hardwood back for a second. We'll split the stack. There we go. And then we'll split the stack like so. That'll be good. Now let's put these down real quick. Um, oh, some hardwood fence we can grab over here. We might as well while we're in late night hours. Not gonna hurt anything. Let's split that stack again because I don't want to take all of it. 
We'll put that bad boy there. Oh. <laughs> and that bad boy there. And then we can have the cute little torches in front of it. As close as possible. Yeah, that makes sense, Crispy. That makes sense. So I think I'll like this here because we can just literally go to the storage shed and then we'll have all this platform up here for like our processing type stuff. Because we aren't going to have individual areas for the processing stuff just yet. Um, simply because I don't have more of a layout for the town. So we're going to kind of just go back in here and get some more of the stone done. That tree's going to go. We're just not going to chop it down while we're ridiculously tired. <laughs> now let's grab uh, the hardwood. And at least now we know that back end that, oh, we gotta be up here. That back end that we tried to place back there was one too far out. So that's good information that we have. I, I do think I like the idea of this being a one wide stair because it's not the main entrance stairs. Um, we'll see how I feel about it in practice. Because definitely, you know, if it's in practice versus theory it can be very different. So that's what I'm imagining. Uh, just a little beachside path here. I'm not 100% sure where the door in the storage shed is, so let's give them, uh, we took the tiki, tiki torches from the other area, but let's, uh, put a good old tiki torch out here. And this tree is gonna go, oh, that's a pickaxe. Because it's literally right in front. I think this would be, this would be good. And let's grab our materials are gonna place it. Watch me kill myself chopping down a tree, lordy Lou. And there we go. Now, um, let's eat a piece of food. Because we're not complete jerks. There we go. And let's place this other one. I'm guessing the door is going to be like there. I like the little tiki torches on the beach. Um, let's see what materials we need to put in here. 20 gumwood, palm wood, 19 nails, 4 sheets. So let's go grab gumwood, palm wood, nails, and sheets. Let's get that put in here. Because I'm pretty sure we have the nails. We are close. We got to make some. Now let's grab those. We got the planks by far and away. Let's grab those. Um, let's grab some of these and make some nails. Gumwood. Ooh. Okay. So, we have it. But, let's put one there. We need to saw the logs. <laughs> and we need to saw 12 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 17. <laughs> Why am I so bad at moving things? Okay, let's make the nails. Okay, nails. Just to make sure we're covered. Let's go saw the logs. And we're gonna be good. Oh, more palm wood. I'm surprised I didn't stack those together. My bad. Um, and we're gonna have to put away all this stuff. <laughs> In addition to doing this, we're gonna have to put away all this stuff. So, um, let's saw some logs, guys. Hope you enjoy sawing logs. It's gonna be annoying. Yeah, I think that'll be good. I like the idea of the storage shed not being on the platform with the house, I think. Because it feels more like a storage shed if it's not in the platform. There we go. And we get all our materials placed, and then they'll start building up. Because I would like to see it built today in stream. There we go. Yeah, we definitely need a net. We definitely need a net. Sorry, I, I don't know if I responded to that message earlier, Paige. My chat was... Uh, on top chat. <laughs> so it's kind of wonky earlier. Okay, we're just gonna saw all of these. Now, I think I have enough stuff on this. Let's go put stuff in the thing and see if we have enough. Oh yeah, that one is perfect because you see the little hint of light from the tiki torches. Um, hopefully those will be on either side of the door. Place items. Here you go, take all my woods. And my tin planky thingies. And these. All the required construction materials have been deposited. Congratulations, go us. Now, um, while we have the compactor on us, let's make this back part, because this back part was one too many, right? Ooh, I have to pickaxe that first to get that off there. That's fine. 
We can still do it. We can still do it. Let's fix this, though, while we're thinking about it. There's no point in not fixing it. There we go. And after this, we're just going to sort our items into the shed. Not the shed. Into the storage. <laughs> and then, I mean, if we had the shed, yes. And then we will go into the next day. We're going to see the bank built. We're going to see the clothes shop built. Uh, we're going to get a net, <laughs> which will be great. Oops, my bad. I way messed that up. There we go. Fast. Oh, I need to stop messing that up. There we go. Now, since this is going to be uh, wood, I don't know if we can place this down on the bottom levels of it yet, but we kind of have an idea of where we're going with it. So let's sort our stuff away. And let's grab those bush slimes we were going to cook, and then let's hop in bed. So um, just a few bush slimes, because I want easy food to eat that's not going to be our expensive food. And then we're going to put away all these materials and stuff. Okay, those go there. That's good. Uh, compactor. We need to put it away so I don't accidentally kill the thing. He's going to go in there. Um, our good old nails go in here. We should have left one to make it easier to sort in, but that's my bad. Our planks will go into here. We can auto sort those in. And I think we're mostly doing pretty okay. So let's uh, cook these beautiful bad boys here. Riley, hey, how are you doing? How are you doing? Welcome aboard. Are you having a good day? Glad to have you here. Uh, we're working on getting prepared to go to the mines, but it's going to be a multi-day adventure because, um, copper shortage. <laughs> it's a copper shortage over here. And we just placed a storage shed. And when we go into the next day, the bank and the clothes shop are going to be moving in. Although, I, I need to relocate them, but they're going to be moving in, so I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Materials for the town hall? Nice, so so congratulations! That'll be so good! I don't think I've even done that yet. I should talk to her. I should talk to Fletch. You have to have five people move in to get the town hall, don't you? Because I'm guessing that how, how it's working. And everyone, thank you for being here and hanging out. It is a wonderful, wonderful day here in Dinkum, where we are struggling to find copper and do things. And, you know, racking our brains on our town layouts and stuff. But it is a blast. <laughs> oh, it definitely is. It definitely is. Having a great day. Glad to have you here with us. Okay. We definitely need copper. <laughs> It's sad that my whole goal for growing in the mines is to get more copper. I really want a glider too, so apparently I need to pick up 20 bat wings and do something while I'm in there. I don't know. I don't know how that works. I want a glider so bad. I want a helicopter too, but I need like 3 million dinks for that, so, you know. <laughs> I don't like this song. I'm going to skip it. It's kind of repetitive. There we go. That's better. We are trying background music. Um, if it ends up being too loud or quiet for any of y'all, let me know. It's easily adjustable. There we go. We got some cooked lime bush, which will definitely help us. Let's put away um, all these things we were using over here. And this platform again it is going to go back. Um, it's just not yet. Okay, so let's auto sort in what we can. Whoa, that was most of it. Go me. I was nice to myself. Um, here's our stabby stabby. He's going to go down here with our very sad tools. Um, there's our other beat stick. Um, ooh, we're making, uh, more waddle brew. We need to probably put that away. I'm not using that. Um, I'm having better luck with this. We need to water the crops in the morning. Here's we're going across. We need to feed the chickens in the morning. We should probably put away this meat. Okay. Let's go ahead. Um, I need to make more of these so bad. You don't even know. Because apparently this will help us upgrade our gardening license uh, if we do enough of this. But I only have one, and it's really slow. <laughs> Definitely only have one. Uh, right now, I currently have to water my 125 crops one at a time. I'm still in that phase of the game. Here we go. Are you? Oh, you guys are already doing your thing over here. We'll put these away then. Uh, that's not the wrong one. This is the raw one. 
Okay. I think we're good. So let's hop our butts in bed. And tomorrow in game, we need to buy tools from John, including one net because we royally screwed up and don't have a net. Um, we put our materials in here and we're gonna see our building come in. So it should be exciting. Into the bed we go. Sleep until tomorrow. Jade got you glider. Nice, Crispy. Nice. Danuki, hey. How are you doing? Ooh, really cool, Danuki. Congratulations. Oh, guys, I'm jealous. You guys got gliders? I'm over here just like slow rolling. <laughs> it's all good. We'll get there. It's all good. I really want a glider. I really want to get the motorcycle too. Franklin's visiting. Oh, we're like poor right now. Shoot. Okay, let's grab his shiny disc for him. Um, let's see if there's anything we're willing to sell. Uh, Cause we can't really get stuff right now cause we don't have high enough licenses with him. We could sell a little bit of our stuff. Oh, shoot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's not gonna hurt us to go down a few cause we can go metal detecting. Like metal detecting is easy. I just don't want to go too low on things in case we need them for him making us something, you know? One, two. I don't know which ones are valuable and which ones aren't. Because uh, we'll get more. We'll get more. We need money. Shoot, shoot, shoot. We got to run to Franklin. <laughs> that changes it a little. Okay. I'm not selling any of the wires. Okay. I don't think we need nine motors immediately. Let's grab two of them. Because we need money. Let's go see what Franklin will give us. And let's, uh, town planning. Hey, build the town one building at a time. Here's a milestone for finishing a new building. And again, and again. Hey, that's a lot of points. So, oh, this is good. Oh, it's already built? Oh, and the torches are in the right place. Hey, our storage shed is good. Very cool. Um, we're gonna definitely make it look nice over there. We're probably gonna curve that beach out more. Money? Hey, a little bit of money. So, um, let's go feed the chickens. Let's run to town. And at some point we gotta water the crops and we gotta get our stuff together. I really wish it would rain. These are gonna grow at some point, I think. They've not grown any yet. Hopefully they will. This one grew. Hello, little buddies. Hi, I'll pet you. Good old fajitas. Good old nugget. How you doing? One of them's sad. He keeps giving me small eggs. I think I put feet on us. Perfect. There we go. And let's auto sort back in. Oh, he already ate. Okay, let's feed him again. Just to be safe. <laughs> One, oh, that's 68. One, two. There we go. Okay, feed again. Stay happy, little buddies. Oh, there's an egg out here too. We'll auto sort in. Perfect. Let's see how the crops are doing. Oh, they're starting to look like actual crops. Are these ready? Oh, these ones are already ready. Maybe this will help us level up our, um, our farming by harvesting them. I hope it does. Is this one ready? I'm not good at selecting it, apparently. Nice. I really hope that helps because we need the bigger watering can for sure. None of the rest are ready, but we did get some kale. Maybe we can sell a couple of those while we're over here to get money. Hmm, let's grab our points. Very good, very good. While we're over here, let's place our bad boy back down. I feel like, um, you know how in Coral Island, you can change the speed, I think it's Coral Island. I could be thinking of a different game. There's similar games. <laughs> a lot of similar games are now. You can change the speed of how your day progresses. Oh, wild wildflowers. You can change the speed of how your day progresses every day. We got a bank and a thread space. And clovers here. I wish we could do that, because you can change it on the fly. In wildflowers, you can have your day go really slow. 
and you can just change it without even going out of the game or you can have it normal or you can have it go really fast and you can change between those intermittently so if you're working on a project in your t uh your your city or quest and uh, wildflowers they're going to take a while you can go on slow and, it, and just take your time instead of having all one speed you know wildflowers hey patrick you're right how are you doing welcome welcome haven't seen uh, this since I got uh, bandstand at gazebo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Welcome. I'm glad to have you here. It's been a while since you made it to a Dinkum stream, so yeah, it, we've changed a bit. Um, let's say what's up. Do you think I borrow some of your hair? I need it for something. Don't worry too much about why. <laughs> Clover? What? <laughs> do you need anything? Catch a Barku Grunter. It's her first day here, so I feel like we should do her quest. Welcome aboard, Clover. Um, you weirdo. You absolute weirdo. <laughs> She's a good weirdo. It's fine. Let's go into John's. Um, let's buy, buy, buy. Let's buy our mining pass. Ah, uh, let's hold off on buying our mining pass. We need to buy some tools real quick. Because I'm worried with Franklin here, what if we want to get something? I don't think we can yet, but what if we do? So let's go look at Franklin's stuff real quick. We're just buying all the tools. I don't want us to be without tools. Because we were out to without tools yesterday. Let's talk to him real quick. Hey, bud. Uh, I think I have some stuff to sell you. Uh, if I give you some of my kale, let's give you... I want to keep like 15 of it. Let's give you like 10 of my kale. What will you give me for that? 15,000. Okay, I'll give you 10 of my kale. And let's see if you need anything today. Want to chat? Oh, shoot. Clutch told me about it. Uh, it means a lot to her. She must really trust you. Okay. She's talking about the, he's talking about the journal. Uh, do you need anything? Five grass seed. Uh, sure. If it's up in our friendship, I'll give you some of my grass seed. That's fine. Okay, so let's run back here before 4 p.m. Let's talk to Fletch and upgrade to the better mining tool. Because we're light on copper, we're not light on iron. <laughs> so, let's talk about a license. Uh, we can't do the farming one yet, so let's just hope we're fine. Let's get the better pickaxe. I'm assuming this is going to be iron. Yes, iron. Perfect. So, let's make an iron pickaxe today. And now, Fletch, let's just talk in general. What do you want to chat about? Um, what's new? Oh, just the South City stuff. Okay. Hello there, Barb. Um, her friendship's moving along pretty well. Let's talk about the town. Let's see. What exactly can I help you with? Um, I don't want to move a building. I don't want to play some more deeds right now. I'm actually fine, so never mind. Um, let's chat. Got a job for me. A blue moon butterfly. Uh, we're going to be catching a fish today, so let's hold off on catching that butterfly. That's a bit much. Uh, let's go talk to Franklin real quick, and then let's check out the, the new buildings. Hey, Franklin, what do you got here? <sighs> Festoon lights. Already taught me that recipe. A repair kit. We don't have a repair table yet, but thank you. Okay. Um, I have some discs for you. Okay, we'll sell you this. Okay. Here's your thanks. Information. Now let's talk to him. Um, can you make me something? So, let's look. We can't get the chainsaw yet. Maybe we could, actually. Eight iron bars. Jackhammer. Takes a stone grinder. We don't have the money. That's the problem. We got the compactor. Dirt printer is 300,000. I really want that. I think we have the materials. But we don't have the 300,000. So if we were to... Oh, the charging station. That's urgent. Okay. Iron bar... We don't have the copper bars. Gosh darn. We need to go in the mines tomorrow. That's going to be the plan. Because we need the copper bars to get the charging station. We can get these other tools, but without the charging stations, we can't tool them. Uh, use the... We can't charge them. A gotcha machine. We could get this. Um, I, I believe now that we have the bank, he'll let us get it. And it doesn't take that many of our materials. 
and we could use it. It's not like it's this where we're gonna get it and we can't charge it. <laughs> uh, but I do want the chainsaw and the jackhammer. So let's look down here, motorbike. We can get the motorbike. So, um, yeah, that's a hard choice. And we could get the jet ski. Think I'm crashed. Oh no, sorry, so so. You have a tin shortage. Oh yeah. Um, you're struggling with copper and farming still a year in. Oh, Chinooki, I feel you. I feel you on that. I feel you on that. So let's. I really want the jackhammer. We're gonna be very poor if we get that. Because that's going to help a lot. Well, shoot. Let's, we can't recharge it yet. Since we can't recharge it yet, let's grab the gotch machine. Um, I think he'll let us. Um, but I grab a picture of the gotch machine, and I'm going to grab a picture of the motorbike as well, because I think we should get the gotch machine or the motorbike today. Um, because it would be nice to have something for better getting around for gathering and stuff. But we can't exactly take the motorbike across the ponds. <laughs> so I think maybe we aim towards the gotcha machine because it'll give us stuff. So um, let's head on over this way. Let's sell John our extra stuff now that we know we are going to need money. Skip uh, Jet Sea for now. Uh, jackhammer is huge in the mines. Ooh, we could get the jackhammer. Let's see if we can get enough money together. So let's work on this very carefully. Let's sell him some more stuff. Let's see what this gives us. 50,000 dinks. Okay, now let's put ourselves in pause mode for a second so I can think. Because I was kind of aiming towards a gotcha machine because it'll give us stuff. So should I get gotcha machine or jackhammer first? Shoot, I didn't take a picture of the... I didn't take a picture of the... Mm, the jackhammer materials. You can post in Discord? Oh, thank you, Soso. Thank you. Jackhammer? Um, okay, I can't recharge it yet. I don't have a recharging station. But we could use it and be careful this first time and just not break it. So, jackhammer. Let's track ingredients. Let's go grab these real quick and see if we have enough. I don't have a stone grinder other than my own, so we'll have to literally give them our own stone grinder. <laughs> Did I actually get the picture? How is this not working? There we go. Okay, so let's go run over. We don't want too much time to be wasted because we're running on minimal time. Uh, we gotta run back to our house. I can't remember, does he sell a stone grinder? Stone grinder. Oh, those are cheap. I'll take it. There we go. That way we don't have to pick up our own. Oh, so, so, so thank you. That's super helpful. I appreciate it. It's a little bit hard for me to tab out a game um, because of how this game is set up. <laughs> but it'll be very, very useful to have. So I appreciate that. I honestly might print them out. <laughs> I might print them out. Okay, let's pick up our stuff real quick. Um, the jackhammer does need to be charged. So uh, what I think I'll do... Um, because I don't have the... Here, let's go back to pause for a second. I don't have, for the charging station, any of the copper. And we're going to be going into the mines. Um, so if we're going for the charging station, we can't buy anything from Franklin today. So that's the main thing. If we're doing the charging station, we cannot buy anything from Franklin today. Um, if we get the jackhammer, we can use it in the mines, but we can't recharge it. So, yeah. Let's see. My phone is like 4% charged, so-so. <laughs> My charger is across the room. I'll definitely, uh, I'll definitely grab, oh, I'm grabbing that image. That's super useful. Thank you. So while we're on the pause, we have a second to think, guys. Jackhammer will help us get copper. Yeah. 
So let's get the jackhammer and just be very careful not to break it. <laughs> um, I was able to grab that image, um, so I got like 4%. I should really grab my charger on our next water break, guys. It's like 4% in my phone. So let's grab the jackhammer materials. So we're gonna need um, old spring. Let's grab that. Uh, the some five hot cylinders. Okay, and we're gonna need green board times one. And we're going to need iron bars and a stone grinder. Okay, let's go grab the iron bars because I know we have iron bars. I just don't know if we have eight. We have, oh, ho, ho, we can't get it. We can make two more iron bars that leaves us literally one short. Um, can the shiny stone give us an iron? Let's see if we can get an iron out of that. So we may be, uh, the decision may be made for us. We may not be able to do this. Let's see if we can get it. Give me one iron ore so I can make my last iron bars. Oh no. Uh, if we can't get it today, we say screw it and we get the gotcha machine just to get something. I think that's where my mindset is. Hey, gave me a copper. Copper's like gold right Iron, we can do it. We got the iron ore, we can get it. <laughs> we just gotta race before he closes shop. Um, let's go over here. We can't stare at that thing. Okay. Grabbing this, grabbing this, grabbing here. We are on a race to get a jackhammer. Oh, two, hello, hello. Smelt faster. <laughs> you machine smelt faster. Come on, buddy. So yeah, jackhammer, it's gonna happen, guys. We can make it happen. <laughs> shiny stone to the rescue and thank you guys again for hanging out i am so glad to have y'all here i know it's a chaotic day um considering our copper shortage literally affects everything we want to make but it is um it's wonderful to have you guys here smelt 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 we're gonna have to race over there come on buddy smelt 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 okay that puts us to seven Smelt faster. <laughs> oh no, smelt faster. Okay, we're gonna put uh, this in here. This in here. Race, 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 race. <laughs> hey, for sure, so so. Come on, come on, come on. You can do this. Come on. Do your thing faster. I wonder if windmill helps other processing machines or just these thingies. Come on. Well, we're waiting on that because we can't make it go any faster. Let's, um, oh, we have these literally right here. Are these full? Oh, these are full. Bar, time to run. Okay. Franklin, Franklin. <laughs> Make me a jackhammer. <laughs> Please don't close shop. <laughs> We're gonna make a boardwalk from my place to over here, by the way, guys, eventually. It's just not happening yet. That's a huge, massive project. This can be like our end game. Friend, buddy, guy, pal, help me. <laughs> can you make me something? Jackhammer. Yes. So you're interested in jackhammer. It will be very handy to have, I can assure you. Give me 100k dinks. And I need a day to make it. Dealio. Okay, we did that. Score. It'll be ready by tomorrow. Now that we're back here, let's run into Clovers and the bank, since we haven't stopped by them yet. And it's the first day they're in town. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we didn't get any of the streamer people shirts. We did get googly eyes. Uh, Crossing Minute uses those a lot. Um, green boots, black sneakers. I got those. Black pants. We don't have plain black pants yet. We'll buy those. This dress. I don't know if I'm going to like a white dress. It kinda, uh, does that look like it has little gray nips on it, guys? Am I crazy? It looks like it has little gray nips on it. It's probably just the way the light's sitting it. Let's grab it. We'll see if it does that on. <laughs> Because it totally looks like it has, you know, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see if it's creative. Let's buy this little sunshine dress here. 
Okay, there we go. We'll, I'm, don't. Ooh, that's 13k. We'll get those next time they're in shop. Those are black pants yet again. We're not gonna. Those ones were. Why were those ones? Four, those are 4,000. That was 2,000. What? Let's grab uh, the PI hat. Okay, it's cool. I like it. We'll take it. Let's talk to her. Yo, Clover. This is where we can order stuff that we got before. The googly eyes, yeah. They wobble around, it's so cool. Did I get her a thing? Oh, no, I don't have it yet. Sorry, I didn't get your fish at all. I'm a liar. Okay, well, we stopped by and we saw our shop. Uh, so that was fun. Let's stop by the bank. Read the sign, is it already closed? Closed. <laughs> I guess he's closed. Uh, okay. That's fine. Welcome to town. Welcome to town, buddy. So we we have done a thing. We have a jackhammer coming on the way, and we need to prepare for going into the mines. So this is going to be quite interesting. I really, really, really would love a speed option. I need to go in the Discord and search the suggestions. Sorry, I need to go on here while I'm talking. I need to go search the suggestions section, because if you guys aren't in the official Discord yet, um, you can go to the suggestions section in there. Um, once you're like um, in the server, you make a few comments and stuff, it ups your level. And then you can make a suggestion. So I'm gonna search and see if anyone's made a suggestion about adjusting day speed, but I imagine They'd have to go back to default day speed when someone was visiting. I don't know if it's something they can implement or not, but I would think it would be really cool to have a slower and a faster setting that you could change on the fly. Mm, one sec, guys. I'm gonna grab a sip of water while I have this uh, paused. Oh. I don't like this song. We're gonna skip it. There we go. Okay. So, I, I think I would really like that. So... Let's go put up some of this stuff and let's track one of these quests. Um, we don't need to keep track of this anymore because we already did that. We'll unpin it. Alpha Croco. I don't know if we're going to beat that down and we got some money on us right now, so it makes me nervous. We can uh, go catch her Barku Grunter. We bought a fishing rod. So let's do that. And let's try to make... The only downside about getting the jackhammer is we don't have enough iron to make the iron pickaxe that we just upgraded our license for. So that is a thing. Um, but we'll try to get some copper because we, we can work with a copper pickaxe. Let's move this for now. Sorry, I saw some tin over here. We'll grab the tin. And maybe that's a good sign. We did go around and chop down a bunch of rocks. So if we can get our hands on enough copper to make a copper pickaxe, that would be good. And we have the jackhammer coming in the mail. I really need that recharge station, but to do that, we need to get copper in the mines. And to get copper in the mines, we need probably copper out here to make a better copper pickaxe. So I'm hoping our little journey of chopping out a bunch of stone yesterday helped. We have not gone into her shop more than once since she's been here. I feel so bad. We stopped by too late. It's okay. We'll we'll stop by eventually. So let's go see what we can do. And see if we can find any copper out here. Because that's going to be kind of a, a thing we need. Kind of thing we need. Now going in, we will have the jackhammer that we can work with. So that'll help. But I really feel that we're also going to need a good pickaxe on us. Oh, I should put the thing back in my bar. This little um, boogie board, super useful. We're not processing these right now. So let's check around the areas where we chopped some stone and see if maybe we had some copper spawn in. Very exciting that we had a lot of people move in. And um, I don't know if those bushes are just not growing for some reason. I think they've been, oh, copper. I think they've been planted quite a few days. I'm not sure why they're not spawning in. The um, flowers on the wattle and bottle brush. We broke that one. Let's grab this one. Because honestly, trying to prep to go into the mines when you have weak tools and you can only buy one tool a day from John and you're on a copper shortage is a little bit actually hard. There we go. And if we see any crocs, we can kill them while we're out. I just don't know if we should go after the alpha croc because I think we might die.
Let's see what we can do. Ooh, this one has words. How fancy. Um, we're currently tracking something that's kind of throwing me off. Let's not track that. <laughs> Okay, on a journey for more copper. Exciting though, we had two whole buildings come in today and we have a jackhammer ordered. We just need to be very, very, very careful not to break that. If I break it, I'll be sad. <laughs> and so we don't have the stuff for the recharging tool and we need it to try to get the stuff for the recharging tool. Hi, puppers. Cute puppers. Oh, copper. The day goes by a bit too fast, yes. Um, I think this would be a good normal option. And then if you're allowed to have uh, that thing where you can change the daytime. Like, honestly, we could work exactly like it did in Wildflowers if it's variable, uh, adjustable throughout the day. So, like, let's say right now, while well, we're searching for copper, we need the time to move slow. Or if we're working on a big terraforming project, we'd need the time to move slow. If we could set it on slow, and then later when we want the time to move fast, we can move it to fast or normal. That would be really cool. Um, that's one of the things I really, really, really liked about Wildflowers. It gave you the options so you didn't feel like you were always on um, a specific clock. But, who knows if that's hard to implement or not. Who knows? And it's still early access. Things can change. And on the bright side, um, you can just sleep and go to the next day. It's not the end of the world. Um, I just, uh, where I'm so early on, I have shops and stuff I'm trying to make sure I stop by. It's a lot for a noob, because also, uh, we haven't watered our crops today, but we watered them yesterday, so I guess that's fine. Because that's a lot of watering. Um, I gotta get that upgraded farming license. We're just gonna gather stuff while we're out here for now. Chill gathering. Oh, yeah, I like that. Now, um, apparently when you're playing this, um, you can change the time on your PC. Um, according to people in the Discord, I haven't done it yet. So they're like, hey, if you want to go get this item, but I wasn't in the winter and I need it from the winter, or I wasn't in the spring, I need stuff from the spring. They're like, hey, if you want to change your time, you can go get the things you need and then, um, you know, save your file and then go change the time back but i'm new and i didn't want to mess with trying that <laughs> um because this is my first uh island first save in this game well i guess i technically have another save before that's where i was trying to pick layouts um but this is my first real go with this so i didn't want to mess with it and risk anything but apparently you can I don't know exactly if you need to do it for a day and then change it and whatever. I don't know how it works, but there's a thing that is technically, oh, copper, technically apparently possible. You kept changing the time to farm the feathers. Oh yeah, for sure. There we go. We grab this while we're out here. I'm trying really for the majority. Oh, got an old key. We're gonna need keys when we go in the mines too. Um, here, we can kill this croco. Fire bats are great against the crocos, and their croco meat is great in the... Come on, lunge at me, bro. Come on, lunge, I can attack you. Oh, I missed? Lunge? Now he's gonna just die from fire. Fire bats, great, I love it. It lights up the night, which is great for me. And it's really good against the crocos. I know it's not like the best of tools, but it's great for me currently. Here we go. And that croco meat, if you can get it, is, uh, it's, it makes really good food. Uh, made my trip into the mines much better. And so did the fire bat, it has a far better reach. I'm trying not to whittle down our fire bat too much because I need it in the mines. <laughs> That's uh, copper. So going around and hitting the regular rocks, um, the next day I do feel like I have a little bit of copper on my island. <laughs> so maybe that's the thing. Maybe my copper shortage is self-built from not hitting the regular rocks enough. It's a problem I maybe made for myself. <laughs> but while we're out here, um, let's see how much we can get. Uh, even if we go into the late night, it's fine. Um, I would much rather us be prepared. How much copper do we have now? We've got 11. 
And I think what we have six back there, if I'm remembering correctly at all, I could be completely wrong. But we need to get enough. Um, I think we have enough to make our copper pickaxe now, so that's good. Um, so we could definitely, uh, definitely do that. We want to grab a little bit more water here if we can. And we got our storage shed built. Now, I know we haven't done anything with it yet, but I'm just glad to have it built. Because <laughs> that is going to help a lot. We got stuff everywhere. Um, our pickaxe is relatively okay. We can hit this. It's uh, 10, by the way. Now, apparently these big, big ones can give you iron. I do not have uh, the iron pickaxe yet, so I can't exactly do that. Now, once we go into the mines, we can get more iron and we can make the iron pickaxe now because we upgraded our mining license. Come on, copper. I don't want to kill the danger dog, uh, boar, bear things. I don't know what they are. You call them danger doggos. They're not dogs, but you know, the MMO player in me sees them as just like big, scary, funky looking dogs. <laughs> No copper over here. Let's keep going. Come on, copper. You know that you don't hate me. Copper, 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 copper. Come here. Come here, copper, copper. It's okay. <laughs> I have a treat. <laughs> oh, cats are going to walk over here. They're like, what? Are you calling me? You got a treat? <laughs> X amount of rocks and throw a spawn. Yeah. That's probably a thing, and I hate using my minimal amount of pickaxe I have on the regular rock spots while I'm trying to save it for the copper, but, um, yes. Definitely, I've, uh, I think I've made a problem for myself. We'll grab some bananas while we're out here. Oh, pockets are full. Maybe we will not grab some bananas while we're out here. Ah, I didn't put away the clothing. Yeah, we're gonna leave those bananas kind of sitting there. But if we find enough copper, we'll be golden. Let's look at the map because I feel like I'm getting myself a little bit lost. I don't know why that is marked with a star up there. <laughs> Come on, any copper? Please, game. I think we're gonna say that that's enough to make our two bars and i don't think we're gonna look into any more so um let's pick uh let's unmark this because i don't know why it's marked in the first place uh there we go and let's work our way back towards home and hope we find some copper along the way because going back home we're going to take a slightly different path so maybe we'll find some more uh, dingo. Ah, so those, uh, they, so the little cute dogs that are running around, those are dingoes, uh, or they call them doggos. The big ones that breathe fire, those are like some sort of boar or something. Hey, copper. Those are some sort of boar or something. I don't know. I keep calling them danger dogs because they breathe fire, but the little cute puppies um, are the dingo doggos. <laughs> Doggo dingoes. Um, let's grab this iron while we're here. I'm just trying not to use too much of my pickaxe on the iron. Um, let's eat one of these just to get ourselves up. Well, that didn't do much. I don't want to use a waddle brew. Let's eat two cook lime bush. The, the bush limes. I say them wrong. I keep calling them lime bushes. <laughs> It'd be weird if we're eating the whole bush, but they're bush limes. <laughs> there we go. Oh, game. I want more storage. I should buy more storage. Oh, let's wear the hat. More storage. <laughs> And the hat's actually kind of cute. Look at this. So we are wearing our sun hat. I actually have a hiking sun hat that I like, but it's more like the brim along the front, and then it has this thing that hangs down behind uh, your shoulders and your neck. It's got a strap to hold it in place, and it's a light blue. I like it. Those are my backpacking, my day bag gear. Um, I used to have backpacking gear, but when I injured my back, I kind of rehomed all that. My back's better, though. I might replace it at some point. But um, that's a, a, a save-up-for-it thing, you know? But I did keep my day bag for day backpacking. And it has a thing where you can put a water pack in it. And uh, it's got all these com compartments. And it's a really tiny bag, which is great for, day, uh, for like a little day trip. 
But you can put like stuff for, we should stop picking these bananas. We have no way to carry them back home right now. So while we're out here, let's hit a couple of these just regular rocks. Yeah, you'll put your wetsuit and goggles on. That's smart, that's smart. There we go. Hey, we got a shiny stone. Okay. I'm hoping we're taking a slightly different path back so we can hit these stones as we go. We're just kind of looking for copper because I really desperately am needing copper, but we're going to be going into the mines. Now, the thing is, is we're, we were going to go into the mines this next day and just make an iron pickaxe. I think we need to get the item from Franklin. We need to do some stuff. Um, and I think we need to spend one more day before we go into the mines. So basically, we're doing like a three-day prep to go in the mines. Uh, but I just really want us to make sure we're prepared because I want to be able to take in an iron pickaxe with us if possible. And I don't think we're going to be able to make one. Oh, that's crystals. We're going to leave those in the ground. They're fine. We got plenty of crystals. Come on, copper. Oh, yay, I asked and I got copper. Yes, so the last, uh, so the first time we went in the mines on the other day's stream, I think it's Friday, we got absolutely wrecked. So then we prepared and uh, someone in stream helped me figure out some things that make the mine trip go better. And I think we did six treasure rooms in the mines in one, uh, in one set. So that was really, really cool. Um, we did do the base level of the mines. We haven't gone to the second yet because I don't feel prepared for the second, but it was really cool. Um, we didn't get the glider. We found this bat statue. Apparently I should have got 20 bat wings, but I didn't. So I messed that up, but it was really cool. And uh, I got a bunch of nifty things in there, uh, like this fire bat. Flaming bat, I really, really like it because I can use it to see at night. Um, and it doesn't lose charge unless you're like beating someone down with it. There we go. And then it loses charge, but I can just run around and gather with it uh, if I want. And I can kind of see. There we go. Let's gather, gather, gather. It's the late hours, by the way, so we gotta be a little bit careful. So you can tell by it says late up at the top and also our energy bar is itty bitty. Yep, and we did get a mining helmet that has a little bit of charge. So now if we put resin in our pockets, that's uh, tin, but we don't want to grab it. I'm still looking primarily for copper. Okay, we got enough to make the copper axe. So that will help our situation. Let's grab our surfboard, our boogie board. We have to be careful because swimming does take energy. So now we gotta walk for a second, see if our energy wants to regen enough or if we're gonna have to eat a piece of our fruit. When it's late night, I try not to use any good food. Like honestly, even just using um, unprocessed bush limes when it's late night is just fine and dandy. Because that'll get us right to where we can walk, but not to where we wasted cooked food. There we go. Good old late night chill gathering for a second. I was really hoping we'd find more copper. We did get a couple nodes though, so we're good. We currently have 17 things of copper on us. Swim across here. Oh good, we're still walking at normal speed. Kind of just perusing for copper. And just happened to be gathering uh, a lot of wattle flowers while we're out here. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very convenient sword. And it really helped me because when I first went into the mines on that run, I did not have a mining helmet with any charge. And if it has no charge, guess what? It isn't going to charge up from nothing without the charging station. I don't have a charging station yet. So we'll go ahead and just hit these bad boys up. Okay. And uh, I don't know if you're here for the beginning stream, but we are gonna change the downtown layout a bit. Now that I see the buildings come in, those two are really close. <laughs> so we're gonna relay this all out, just not on today's stream. 
Okay. Let's head back to our place. Uh, we have not got her Barku Gunter for, Gunter for her, but I don't know if we can do that at the nighttime. Uh, we can try to catch a fish, but I'd hate to pass out fishing, <laughs> you know? He's normally, like, over in this area. Let's try one and just see. Oh, that's really far away. Because I have a feeling that if I try to fish and he catches on, I might try to pass out. But let's just give it a try. I messed that up. There we go. Oh, I didn't do it quick enough. Jungle perch. That's not what we need. Oh, no, you can go away, fish. Screw it. <laughs> We're not going to get her fish today. My inventory's really full. It's okay. We didn't really water our crops, but I'm hoping gathering these will have, the ones that are ready, will have got us um, maybe to where we can get the better watering can. Because I'm desperate for the better watering can. Oh, banana's ruin. Um, so our pockets are full, but I'm going to go ahead and just take these off of here. We're going to empty our pockets real quick and come back and pick up these bananas. There we go. We'll come grab those in just a second. On our way. On our way. So let's put away the clothing first. Um, this is the streamer shirts chest. I really don't have a lot of streamer shirts yet. There we go. Here's, uh, I guess the dresses will go in the shirts chest. Oh, there's a dress in here already. Yeah, the little dots show in there too. I wonder what's up with the little dots. Maybe they're supposed to be buttons or something. Okay, we'll put this bad boy in here. Let's go here. And put away uh, extra stuff. Copper, that puts it up to 24. We need to smelt this real quick. There we go. Oh, shoot. Well, we're in here. We need to put away these extra items that we used at Franklin's. That'll make our inventory situation a little bit better. And while we're doing this, we should cook a couple of these. Uh, did we grab the copper? I split the stack. My bad. Let's put one away here. I'm not sure how I feel about this song. It has words, and most of this playlist doesn't. But we'll see. We're going to go ahead and process these. There we go. These guys are still going, I think. Are these still going, too? These are taking forever. Okay. Let's... See, I think these are still going. Yeah, they're still going. Those take forever right now. Okay. And we did get a shiny stone, so let's process that. We got two shiny stones. And see what we get there. Shiny stone into the thing. Oh, you're working on your new island? Very nice, Billy. Um, do you have a specific thing or just working on it in general? Sorry, guys, I'm stretching. Now, what are y'all doing on your games that you're playing right now? Just out of curiosity. I know it is sometimes hard to multitask and answer, so no pressure. But I'm curious. <laughs> I think it'll pay off for us to put the proper effort for going into the mines as well. That's 10. Now, Franklin's mail is going to come first thing in the morning. We could just say screw it and prep to go into the mines. Because uh, we're going to have enough copper to make the copper pickaxe. So that'll be good. We just aren't going to have the iron pickaxe, which is fine. Um, so let's get this bad boy processing. So let's go here. 
Copper pickaxe. Takes a basic pickaxe to make. And ours is almost dead, so it's a perfect time to make it. So now we got a copper pickaxe. So over here to do this, let's contemplate this out. Uh, let's put away our stuff that we wouldn't be taking with us. Oh, we need to put away the copper bars here. We do have two copper bars now, so we're moving up in the world. Okay. We don't want to accidentally abandon our bug net in the mine again because we had to drop it because we need to bring cool stuff back with us. So we'll put away the bug net. We'll put away the fishing rod. Okay, do we have any other worn out pickaxes? I have a slightly worn out tools chest. No other worn out pickaxes. Oh, we did have technically a net there that's almost dead. So we could have maybe got their bugs the other day with that, but doubtful. Let's rearrange that. That's a little bit better. Now, uh, in the not as worn out tools chest, let's put away our axe. Our regular axe. We'll move our stabby stabby up here. I don't know if I actually like this song. I'm gonna skip it. Play the happy home. Try to get cast with, nice. That sounds fun. Dreamlighten a bit. Um, our teaching little bug cage from Flick. Ooh. Nice, Crispy. And you're doing decorating, making a veggie farm, Billy. Very, very cool, guys. Very cool. I think we're going to take this with us to the mines, by the way. So, we're going to take the second weapon. I'm trying to get us more Waddle Brew, but it's taking ages. Um, so, I don't know if the. I think those two should be ready in the morning. I guess. Um, let's cook some more of these bush limes real quick. Let's just focus those down. Because I want to bring in a big stack of bush limes as backup food. Because we're going to take the croco stuff. Um, but if we eat the croco food initially, and we only have one waddle brew, we're going to need to easily refresh um, health and energy. And th these give six on the energy and four. We could cook some bananas. We're about to go pick those up. Those give straight up energy. I just want to make sure we're prepared when we go in. No more of this uh, dying in the mines. Let's put away these. Oh, let's put away these. Uh, let's go over here and pick up our bananas that we threw on the ground. There we go. Hello, bananas. I uh, wonder if the birds were over here eating bananas because <laughs> I just threw them on the ground. I don't know. It's all good. He probably was. I think he was over here chowing down on bananas. I don't know if he can. But if I was a bird, I would be. Because he's like, whoa, bananas everywhere. Nanners, nanners. This is going to be so cute when we have this little area done up. I like that our storage shed is right there. Okay, let's cook some bananas. Because these give, I think, 10 energy cooked. So if we're just worried about refilling the energy, it's not going to do us any good for health. But those waddle brews take a, a forever and age. I do want to put a windmill behind our house once we get that license unlocked. Uh, the cooking station, mine came with these recipes. I don't know if I had to get those from the license or something, but these are the recipes mine came with, and that was it. Uh, we could take some fruit salads in with us. That might be a better idea. Let's do that. So let's grab some of each of these. I got the bananas. Let's make some fruit salads. That bird is really happy about that fruit. So we'll take some uh, fruit salads in with us because I think that'll help. So between the croco meat, I want more waddle brews, but that's just not a thing I'm going to be able to take with us because they're taking forever. Yeah, I have none yet. Maybe a cooking station? Interesting. Yeah, when I plopped down this cooking table here, it came with the recipes. And then I have this, and I just cook fruit on it and, like, meat and stuff. But this one came with recipes. Now, the thing uh, that they suggested to me was take your cooking station with you into the mines. So if you get croco meat and you're low on food, you can cook it. So that was really cool, and I like that idea. Now, let's find our crops box. That's meat. That's cooked foods. 
That's seeds. That's other seeds. <laughs> Let's put these bad boys in here right now. Because we gotta get our stuff sorted. That's plants. Are those bat wings? I need 20 bat wings, so let's take those with us. Apparently, I don't have a good chest for my crops yet. <laughs> I guess we'll... Uh, where have I been putting them? Well, shoot. I guess we'll put them in here with the fruits for now, or we're going to figure out where we put the crops. Because <laughs> that's a thing. Um, we made all those fruit salads, so let's go ahead and put these away. Um, if we're going into the mines, we won't be watering our crops today. So if I ask where my watering can is, I put it in here with the garden stuff. We got the wild tea. We just can't do anything with that. So let's put away this. Like these are just like going. We're just stuck waiting on those. Okay. Oh, I did pick up the cooking station when I should cook these first okay let's place this bad boy down real quick and let's cook those three croco meats that we got but i think we'll be good i think we'll be good when we go in the mines we're just really gonna need to push the day i was hoping we could go in with an iron pickaxe as well but since we need iron from the mines, it's not realistic for us to get it without going in. We're just going to go in with the copper one, and uh, we should get a jackhammer in the mailbox. Let's be careful not to kill the thing. We need to grab our keys as well. I believe I put the mining helmet in the resin right next to the mine entrance. And we'll buy a spare pickaxe from John. Now we're gonna put away the cooked bananas because I don't want to take the extra inventory slot to carry them with us when we're gonna be taking the fruit salads. So cooked stuff. We'll put away the cooked bananas. Um, yeah, because it's literally, it's just energy. I hate to put these guys away because I use them on a day-to-day -day basis for easy stuff. I like to have a few ones on me just in case we need some minimal health. But we have that waddle brew. We have the cooked croco. We have the fruit salad, so that should be good. And fruit salad is basically, so water is 25 energy, 10 minutes to mining and whatever that is, I guess logging. And this is five minutes to mining and logging and it's 10 health and 15 energy. So it's a good alternative to the wattle brew since we're gonna have a lot to take with us. So we're gonna grab this. The bat wings are for sure coming with. We should put away probably the copper bar because that has no reason to come with us. On the bright side, we are less short on copper now. And we'll go ahead and put away these because that's taking forever to process. We'll put these in the processed food area. Uh, we aren't gonna have a real need to take a shovel with us I can think of in the mines. And I am not gonna take the fishing rod or net because I'm gonna focus down purely on mining. I don't think we need the axe, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna focus purely on mining and combat while we're down there. Animal food in here. Oh, I don't have a place in this chest for it. We'll toss it in here. I know it's not perfect, but that's fine. Oh, another shovel. There we go. We're looking a little bit better. Let's grab our keys. Eight keys, so we can go in four treasure rooms. Not ideal, but it's better than nothing. And we aren't, uh, we will need those on our action bar. So we're gonna need to carry resin and a mining helmet. Let's go in here. Uh, this is a dead mining helmet. We have another mining helmet over there. Let's real quick run over to the chest that's in front of the mining area and see what we got. A backpack with extra storage, yeah. Honestly, I would like two more rows in each of the storage things. I feel like that would be a bit less confining. I don't know um, if that would be a thing they could ever do, but I would like premium storage with a few more rows. Now, we are not going into the second level of the mines yet. I don't feel prepared for that. But we'll be taking this mining helmet that we'll wear. We'll keep this resin in our inventory. 
and we'll take this light just in case we end up needing it to be safe because you never know what's going to happen we have the bats that there are secondary light as well but i'd rather be safe than not oh we need to go put these in our storage i dropped these off um when we were kind of in a hurry i don't even think i've tried on this dress yet uh, let's go put away the hat we're wearing as well and let's swim across here very slowly we'll be fine we'll make it i just don't want to waste any food We do have those limes on us, but we should probably just cave and eat one. We'll put those in the bar for now. I could have literally so much food on the bars, but I want easy food that's not gonna waste our good food. So let's go over here in the light and try that dress, because I don't think we've tried it on yet. Let's try it on this bad boy. Let's go in our house, see if we can see it better. Well, that's a look. I probably shouldn't be wearing, like, the pants and the sneakers with it. But we could definitely wear a dress. Um, let's put away the hat. Let's put our top back on. What are these? Black boat shoes. Let's see what those look like. Okay. Little slip-ons. That's a look. I think we're gonna rock the sneakers for now. So let's go ahead and purse. Ah! Our sneakers back on. <laughs> now let's put away those extra clothes because we don't want to have our inventory slots all full of stuff when we're in there. Uh, dresses. There we go. And hats. Okay, perfect. So we got the keys. We got the mining helmet with the resin. We got food. We got a weapon. We got stuff to mine with. We're going to be getting the jackhammer in the mail. We just need to be very careful since we cannot charge said jackhammer. So, we prepared a lot. In the morning, we need to... Uh, I guess the chickens will be fine because they'll waste a lot of time if we run and feed them. But we can see if we can feed the chickens. We need to check our mail. We need to go run and buy a mining license and an extra pickaxe. Foraging, farming. Oh, we're close to level 10 for farming. Guys. We might get there in the farming at some point to where we can use the bigger watering can. Okay, let's run our butts around. Uh, let's see if we can feed the chickens in time. Mail. Franklin. Our jackhammer. Fletch. What are you giving me? Keys! Hey! Nice! We need both of those. <laughs> so now we got our jackhammer. So that's good. Let's feed the chickens, because I'll feel like a jerk if we don't. I'll feel like a jerk. Hey, buddies, let's pet you. Hello, Nugget. The fajitas, come here. Okay, there we go. I'm just chain petting him. Oh, they're, they're fed enough already. Let's go ahead and put these away. Franklin's is really cool. He's not open yet, though. Okay. Let's head on our way. Are any of these ready? These are not ready yet, and they're also not watered today, but apparently they won't die if you don't water them. They just don't grow. So we really need to get into water in those more, but not on the day we're going into the mines. Okay, here we go. I wonder what time uh, Thread Space opens, because I want to see if the streamer shirts are in there, because I'm trying to get everybody's shirt. John's open faster. It's okay, though. Time. Just says closed. <laughs> let's give it till 8 a.m. and let's check both of these and let's get everything we need to go into the mines and then let's just uh, go and hope we have the best of luck. We're going to put this bad boy here. And we're going to try not to use those limes unless we need them for filler. I think we put that there. I don't know if we're going to need the axe at all. John's open. John's high need in. Move. I'm buying your stuff. Aw, oh, shoot. John's, I, I need to tell you something. <laughs> I apparently am broke broke. Uh, let's sell some goods. <laughs> we're going to sell him some of our uh, limes. And uh, four of our fruit salads, that'll be fine. 
That she gets enough for the pass. <laughs> there we go. Now we can afford the mining pass. We're almost too poor to go mining. I don't want the old gear. I want your mining pass. I'll take that. Thank you. Um, pickaxe. We need a backup pickaxe. Okay, there we go. We got that. Let's see if uh, Clover has any uh, streamer shirts. <laughs> Red space, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Well, we're not checking those because we gotta get in the mines. We can't wait till 9 a.m. Okay. Nine, you, oh, nice, nice, nice. Now we don't really need to worry about dropping off our money because we're poor, um, but we'll drop it off just in case. Uh, here's our thing. And we should be better off this time. So let's do this real quick. Let's put on our mining helmet. We have the resin in our inventory, so this charges it. So that frees up a, my, uh, a space. And uh, let's go, guys. We should be good. We at least fed the chickens. So this is our desperate mining run for our copper shortage. Um, if we see copper, we're gonna get it. Stupid bat. I need your wings. Why didn't you drop it yet? Okay. Also, we apparently need 20 bat wings. It has something to do with the glider, and I don't know much about getting the glider, but I need it. No? Oh, uh, we do need the iron, the iron mower in here as well. Ah, uh, shoot. Get off me, buds. Okay, let's just beat these guys down real quick. Come on. Come on. Come at me, bro. These dudes are really annoying. We're gonna eat some croco meat real quick in a second. Are you guys gonna at least drop your wings? Let's eat some croc. Oh, come on. Let me at least eat the croco meat first. What are you doing? I'm just trying to eat. Okay, and the waddle brew. Okay, good. Now I can get ore of this pretty easy, right? I don't want to take uh, too much with this thing. There we go. Okay. Let's go with our carry regular weapon for now. There we go. Cooking with fire. Literally, cooking bats with fire. Ooh, doggo. He is uh, harder to kill with this than this. But he is easier. Sorry, doggo. Oh, that's a rock. Thank you. Okay. We'll take a hey, flame sack. Copper. But there's a bat. Stupid bat. Get away from my copper. There we go. Hey, you. I'm just mining. Get off my butt. Ah, oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. That definitely helps a little bit. <laughs> it helps. Woo. We definitely need iron as well. Oh, come on. Just let me mine, you butthead. Thank you. I'm honestly a bit more worried about iron and copper than treasure rooms on this run because of our shortage. But we are gonna grab as much as we can. And we have the jackhammer as well. Um, I'm trying to use the copper one for just hitting the nodes as much as possible. Okay. Is that tin? I think it's tin. Oh, we got regular tin. We'll take it. Not gonna complain. Ruby. This one's whole and we're really close. So we'll just run it back whole. We can break them um, if we need to, to make it easier to bring them back. But I just, um, uh, if they're close, I'm bringing them back as whole. If they're far away, I'm gonna just break them. Oh, let's carry the weapon. Got all the light. 
Oh, and these are good for the crackers. Oh, he hit me this time. Come here. Up here. Make my life easier. Hey, little bud. Poison. Let's eat. Oh, I shouldn't go back in there. There we go. That's fine. Now, I think I do have the limes on me as well. I did. I brought the limes. So, I wanted those for getting to the rest of the point of rel fed without using the other good foods. So, map. I feel like we should be going more north. And we'll be looking for all the copper we can get our hands on. Oh, there's a flame sack right over here. Copper? Gator? Hey, bud. Come on. Come on, die. Thank you. Thank you for your materials. I kindly appreciate you donating them to my cause. Okay. Let's get ourselves some stuff. Oh, hello. Please die to my beat stick. Come on. I really need that bat zapper. You need bat wings? I don't know how we get bat wings. They've not been dropping their wings. And apparently we need those to get the glider. I don't like this song. We're gonna skip it. We're killing lots of crocos down here today. But it's a little bit easier than just running from him. Might as well just kill him. He's about to die. He's good. Uh, we can avoid that one pretty easily, so why not? Can we get through here? No. We'll go around this edge. Pull a map for a second. I haven't seen the edge of any treasure rooms yet, so we're just gonna keep moving. Copper. We'll take it. Hey, treasure room right in front of us. The top is it in water? How do we get into the front if it's in water? I guess I'll find out. Sorry, bud. I let you bite me. I didn't mean to. Oh, multiple dangers. Jesus. Danger dog, I'm not into fighting right now. Jesus. Are they gonna fight each other? No? He killed him. Shoot, two. Jump. Fight each other. Jump. On fire. Jump. Jump. We don't want to die. Come on, guys. Fight each other. That'd be fine. We're going to eat after this. Oh, we. The bat's there, too. Let's eat real quick. Let's eat. <laughs> Why aren't they dropping their wings? We got the croco meat. We got some meats. We're right here at this thing. Can we walk up to it with the key? With... Let's see some croco meat. Can we eat it twice to get fed up better with our health? Okay, we can. Can we jump 
like this? We can. Hoo-wee. Uh, we got another flaming bat. I wonder if we can recharge these suckers. We got another mining helmet. I'll take that. We got some paint. We'll take the copper bar too. I'm not gonna take the boogie board because I'm worried about space. Um, we can cook crock if we need to in these. Good room for all the defense, yeah. I'm gonna mark this one on our map with a little lovely X. We got it. Where's that bat at? Okay, there's a lot of animals in there. I wish I would've had something good in there, but I haven't been, maybe I'm just crazy. I only picked up one bat wing out of all these bats I killed. You die, jerk. I can't even see you. There we go, now he's dying. So apparently we need to actually be collecting these bat wings. Before I wasn't because I was limited on inventory space to bring stuff back. But apparently we need them for the glider somehow. Um, I did see a bat statue last time I was down here and I didn't have the wings. Apparently I need them or something. I don't know how any of that works. So, die please, thank you. Give me your wings. No? It's kind of like the World of Warcraft thing where you can kill like 40 boars and they got like one meat and you're like, wow, this quest wanted 10. How does this boar not have meat? What are we feeding these guys, nothing? Uh, but the bats just don't want to give me their wings, apparently. So, hopefully that's not a problem. Give me your wings, friends. That's 10, we're gonna hold off on that. I think that's 10 as well. My bonkers were those 10. Wait, the other ones are iron. We got something up here. Is this one tin or iron? That's tin. Okay. Here's this area. Let's see if we've discovered any more edges. We've only discovered the edge of one gray room in this entirety of that area that we ran through. Hey, that is a ruby. But we are going to break it into shards because I'm not carrying that all the way back. So we're going to go ahead and just break it because we can carry the shards and we use those to go down the elevator for the level two. Um, the shards are less valuable when sold though. So um, heads up, I try to carry them back if I can. Ooh, copper. Shoot, bats. Okay, shoot, bat. Get off me. Please die. Come on. There we go, that's better. Let's see if we can mine these real quick before they come back. That'd be good. Why well, I can hit the big ones with my regular pickaxe now? Interesting. There we go, give me a wing. Wing? No wing! Okay. I see you, no wing. Gosh darn it. Stop flying up at me while I'm mining. Give me your wing at least. You owe me your wing. No. Okay, rude. On our way. That's not what we need. Okay, we're gonna find one of these rooms. Gosh darn it. Oh, hello, danger doggo. I find the stabby stick better for the danger doggo. I know he's a boar or something and not a dog, but he's dangerous. At least I'm accurate in describing him one way. Gosh darn it, bat, not right now. Stupid bat. Hey, we got two flame sacks off him. That's a good deal. Bat's coming back for us. I wish when I was in the menu trying to look at the map, these things can attack me. Ooh, because that's not right. I'm just trying to get my nope direction and they're out here attacking me. We're gonna go this way. Deep mining license click. Um, yeah, you can't, you can't get in the mines without the deep mining license anyways. So if you're in here, uh, you can collect bat wings. I've got like four. They're just not all giving them to me. They're very rarely giving them to me. There, we got a bat wing. 
of that guy, but most of them are not wanting to give me any. But we definitely are gonna be doing good by getting this copper and this iron in here, even if we don't get a lot of key rooms. Um, my last run had six key rooms like right next to each other. This one, I, I only found the one. Oh, that's 10. Uh, we don't really need the 10 <laughs> at the moment. We will, but at the moment, that's not what we're after. I think that's iron. Gosh darn it, get away. There we go. Give me your wings. No, rude. Bat wings are rare, according to Steam Oh, good to know. I feel bad I left all of them down here. I dropped like a stack of eight of them down here because I wanted to carry up like a mining helmet or something. Also, welcome, Kelly. Welcome. Glad to have you here. You, drop your wing. You got two of them. You can spare one. No? How about you? Come at me, bro. You? You? One of y'all has a wing. How are you flying? Jerks. Okay, there we go. You. Nope. But yeah, I left behind a bunch last time. Oops. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. I guess it'll be a while till I get that glider. I don't think I'm getting 20 bat wings in the mine today. Let's see if we discovered any edges of square uh, gray circles. No, only the one we went to way down there. We are not having luck on this uh, today. It's okay. As long as we don't die and we get some copper and we get some iron, I am very happy because we are we're on a desperate shortage for both. There we go. And we can go ahead and eat some more croco meat and get a little bit full up. There we go. Croco meat is good stuff. It's definitely good stuff. Let's grab our weapon. Ooh, we'll take more of this while we're down here. I'm getting burnt up. You know, that is a theory. That is a theory. Uh, it's much easier to hit him with the beat stick um, than the other tools. Like, much, much easier. Oh, boogie board. Oh, hello, danger dog. I know he's not a dog, but he's forever a danger dog to me. Don't you dare, bad dog. No. Bad. <laughs> We're gonna have a lot of flame sacks, so that's good. Let's pull our map. Still no more treasure. Okay, let's go this way. There's lots of iron. Lots of iron. We'll definitely take it. Hey, there's a copper in here. We'll take that too. There we go. We are going to be far less short on iron. And realistically, the only thing I really cared about coming into here was copper. Um, if we happen to get anything else cool from the uh, key rooms, added bonus. But it was mainly to deal with my shortage. There we go. How many copper do we have in him from here so far? We got 17. Oh, we need more. <laughs> oh, hello. Where is he twittering from behind me? Oh, don't you dare. If you're going to come at me, you stay here and get attacked. Where's your friend? Okay. Oh, not that friend. <laughs> You can literally stand on the dog bear boar thing. It's hilarious. So I stand and jump on him a little bit while I'm attacking him. That's probably like insult to injury. Probably rude to do that. Okay, let's pull our map. Um, let's make a goal of kind of heading south um, this way. Because maybe we'll find some rooms along that way. And then we'll be near the mining thing when it's time to go. I didn't even track that. Uh, they're about to attack me while I'm trying to track this. Friends? Do you have any wings for me? No. Ooh, gator. You're right here at something I need, so I gotta deal with you. Sorry, bud. Oh, he's already dead. He was not having a good day to begin with. Oh, hello. What are you 
doing? Stop it. Bad, bad. Okay, maybe one of you all dropped a wing. Nope, no wings. While we're a bit low, we're gonna eat some croco meat. Okay. And this will give us a bonus on our mining and stuff. Hey, I was eating. I'm eating. Stop. But what the hell? Oh, a ruby. Oh, a bat. Okay. A ruby. <laughs> a bat. <laughs> More bats. Where is he at? I need to take care of these guys so I can actually mine. Okay, let's try mining. He's right back as soon as I bring out the pickaxe. He is a, a hobby miner and wants to watch us mining. Again! Dudes! Come at me, bro. Where are you at? I need you to come here and die so I can mine. Okay. Let's try our jackhammer. Ah, uh, that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and break this so we can carry it back with us easier. We have uh, several whole ones, but this will be fine. We'll take the shards with us. It makes our life easier. I think we're uh, just taking the croco meat and taking that flaming bat stick thing. A huge, huge, huge difference in being able to stay alive versus not. Okay, I know it's not the most exciting, but we're primarily after the iron. Bats. Please don't. I should be more careful about getting these bat wings when I was down here last time. I just didn't know they were rare. Cause I assumed all bats had wings. <laughs> so I dropped legit a whole stack of like eight in the mines last time, just left them so I could carry something simple up last time that I wanted. We're getting copper, so thank freaking good. Oh, we're next to a, a, a key room. You see that? Key room right here. Good stuff. Ah, uh, okay. So we got a iron pickaxe in here, but it's kind of dead. We got an iron bar, a copper bar, and some yellow paint. We'll definitely take that. And that's good stuff. I'm looking at our situation here. While we're in here, we could real quick cook the croco. I didn't bring the thing to cook with me. We have enough croco meat on us, but if we could cook, it would save us the slot of carrying meat. Um, I forgot to bring it. Well, shoot. Okay. Um, before he comes in here, let's get ready to attack him. Okay, he's not coming in here after all, is he? Thank you, bud. Let's mark our map that we've been to this one. And let's look to see if we discover the edge of any others. There's one right here. So let's come out this one and head on our way around back to the other one. Let's see. Is this going to be a long distance through to the other one? We can cut through the wall easy here. Oh, Jesus. Okay, dog, 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 dog. Come at me, bro. There we go. There we go. Took care of the doggo. <laughs> there we go. Ooh, lurking with spaghetti? That's a whole nice kind of lurking. I could really go for some pasta. Um, these are our iron. Let's hit these with this. Dude, make that face. Get off me. Die in a fire. Please, and give me your wings. Hey, we got some sort of, uh, points. <laughs> we'll check on those in a bit. Here's the room. Come on. 
There should be an achievement for killing a bunch of bats and not gain wings. <laughs> Okay, there we go. We're gonna get some free crocodile meat. And these bats are gonna come attack us. There we go. Get a little bit better at aiming at these guys. There's another bat around here, so we may get attacked as soon as we're in this room. Give me something good. Another flaming one of these guys. Um, this other one's pretty dead. We should maybe drop it. Um, oops, wrong thing. Let's go in here. Let's drop this dead one. Let's drop this regular stone. Let's take the copper, the paint, and the motor. Let's take our achievement while we're in here. There we go. Let's mark our map that we've been to this room with a little, oh, that one was a star. Let's rem remove that. Let's go back in here. I failed this. Zoom a bit better. I'm like staying right on the star, so it won't let me. There we go. Remove that. Bat, I hear you. Really? I'm just trying to mark my map. Bat? Where'd you go? Okay. Go mark that with an X. Go mark this one with a star, because it's literally right there. That way we can have uh, a way to get to that one real quick. Thank goodness we had a couple close together, because the other ones were far apart. It's okay if our pickaxe dies because we got the hammer. After this one, we gotta run to the exit. We are nowhere near it. Oh, it's a ruby room. Okay, we'll take it. Uh, we'll definitely take it. We're gonna take his shards because we're not gonna be carrying that bad boy back. Now, do we have space in the room to carry up cement path? I guess we do. Um, gathering stones a pain in the butt. I'm going to be taking a stack of the cement path with me. Uh, because we need this for some of the stuff we're doing. And just to have a stack. I know stone's easy to get, but I don't care. If I'm going to have a bunch that's already made for me, that's like super easy. This bat best get gone. Dude, McBat face, die. Okay, there we go. I hear another one. He's about to attack me. Ah, oh, shoot. We gotta run, run, run. Let's put this thing away. Let's gather this all, and then let's run to the exit. Because free stack of cement path is nothing to scoff at. But that's a surprising amount of stone that it takes to make all that. There we go. Okay, now it's 10.15. We need to mark our map. Ho, ho, ho. We wandered. Uh, not there. We wandered a far away. We're gonna die. <laughs> We're gonna die. I don't know if we're getting back in time. Um, let's see if we can wander a shorter path back. Because that's gonna be a little bit rough. Because you have to remember, when we're running back, it is not a straight line. Let's grab that real quick. And then we're run, 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 and no more stops for anything. Because it would suck to come down here and get all that and then just die. Okay, no stopping for anything. Okay. Hopefully I'm taking his back the, uh, away that gets his back. <laughs> Come on, get his back. You don't harass me, bat. Hooey. I want a teleport back to the mines option, uh, mines exit option. That would be really good. Cause sometimes it's kind of hard to tell when you're using the marker to try to get back. It's like, help, I need to go home. I need to go home. Shoot.
back. Come on, I need to mark my map. Get off me. We're way over there. Oh, wow. We're gonna like die down here, guys. <laughs> we gotta go over west. West and south. Come on, let's find our way. It is rumbling, guys. Danger, danger. I'm just keeping this out in front of me in case we need to hit anything in front of us. I know we should probably swap to the weapon, but we need to get over here. Holy shit, that's a lot of bats. We're gonna die. <laughs> We're gonna die down here. Okay. We're gonna be fine. <laughs> We're gonna be fine. We're gonna make it. <laughs> that was so close. Oh my goodness. That was almost bad. Hooey. Look where we made it to, guys, at 11.53 p.m. <laughs> We're going up now. <laughs> We made it. <laughs> we made it, we made it, we made it. Okay. So, we got some stuff and things. Let's add this to our collection. Let's put away our new mining helmet. Let's take off our current mining helmet so we don't wear it out. We'll put that in here with the resin so we don't forget. Uh, running these with the resin, that's so good. We'll put this over here. I would go mining helmet up here, resin there, light uh, down here. And what else can go in here? This mine stuff. And that should be fine. We barely used any of the jackhammer, so that was good. And the rest of the stuff just goes away at our house. And uh, yeah, we lived. We made it. Um, so let's go smelt some of our ore and stuff. We did get um, ruby shards. Um, we'll probably keep these in this chest for ease of entering the mines. It takes four to go. The deep mines. And we haven't gotten to the deep, the second level of the mines. And we'll probably keep our bat wings in here as well, because I want to remember to take them with us. Because we're trying to get that glider. What'd I do? I didn't even put them in there. There we go. I don't like this song. We're going to skip it. It's annoying. And we're going to keep um, a flame beater over here. This one's almost dead. Um, this other one's almost dead as well. It was close. <laughs> that was a long run. <laughs> that was an exceptionally long run for the amount of time we had. Oh, there's a bridge. I could have taken a bridge. I'm a dork. <laughs> We're just gonna exhaust ourselves swimming across this when we could have taken the bridge. So um, that was a thing. We made it. We got some copper and we got some iron. So let's go smelt that stuff. Uh, we are no longer on an iron shortage. We got 84 iron. Uh, the copper was still sparse. We got 36, uh, but still, that's going to be enough to help us be a bit less short. So let's go put our stuff away. Now maybe we can make some of those wheat thingies. <laughs> we want to be careful not to use too much of our copper, though. But these will help us apparently level up our gardening. So um, let's see. And those, let's track the recipe real quick. And I need to run more of these uh, kegs. So I need a keg. That's a copper, three iron bars, and a palm wood plank. Uh, we need this other dude. Copper old gear. Old wheels, gum wood planks. So let's kind of put stuff away and then see where we're at. And we did get an iron pickaxe while we're in there, so that was pretty cool. Let's, let's just in general put absolutely everything away and then take the stuff out we need to craft to make our lives a little bit easier for sorting. I know. I wish I could have stopped on the way back. I could have grabbed that all and it would have been so good. I really wish we could have. Um, in here, I have a chest where there's cool stuff we got from the mines, like paint and stuff, so we'll put the paint away. There we go. And then we'll put these back. Oh, goodness. That was just wild. That was just wild. I think we skipped this song. I'm not feeling it. Ah, 
I scratched my leg. <laughs> That's better. <laughs> Much better. My poor leg was scratching as I was running back. I got it. Stop it, leg. <laughs> We got a bunch more stone, so that's good. We got shiny stone we need to process real quick. We need to put away our keys. Um, I've been keeping those here since we get them from metal detecting, so that'll be good. They could go in that or the mine box. Um, we got some more croco meat to cook as well. I'm going to move this over for now. We need to put this away. Okay, so let's process some shiny stones, cook some croco meat. Let's get the stuff to craft those wheat processing machines because uh, I really, I just wanted wheat processing machines and that was a long way about to go and get the stuff we need for them. So um, let's get these shiny stones processing at the same time because they take a little while. And that was exciting, guys. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was exciting for sure. Oh, these are made now, score. So while this is happening, Let's hop in here and grab, realistically, two of these. They take forever to process. And then, put them down here. Uh, we're gonna need to put away the jackhammer in a minute anyways. There we go. Those bats were darn annoying. At the end, we had like 16 bats like trailing us. If we could have stopped and killed those, we could have got some bat wings. But I just don't think it's realistic. Put the shiny stone in here. I think we would have been dead if we had stopped and killed those bats. I feel like we made progress today. We got clover in. We got the bank in. We got our um, jackhammer, which is great to have. We just need to get the charging tool, which should be our next goal. Next time Frank lives here, we have to get the charging station. And we got a good amount of copper and iron and the, the storage shed is a huge bonus. So progress, progress, progress. We didn't get to work on the back of the waterfall. That's fine. We can work on that next time. It's not exactly urgent. It's more urgent to get our watering can situation solved <laughs> because we really, really, really need to be able to handle watering our crops better. Okay, come on, little buddy. Cook croco meat faster. While we're cooking the croco meat, we're in the late times. So I'm gonna put us on um, window. You won't be able to see this window. Just gonna flicker for a second. It's just going to help me because I need to free my mouse from the screen for a second. There we go. It's kind of hard to free your mouse from the screen with this game. That's uh, one of the things I, that is, um, I wish I had borderless windowed. You can fake it, but it's still a struggle to free your mouse. So I'm going to check our stream stuff real quick here. One sec here. Grabbing that. Oh, the shed's finished. The shed is finished, so that's exciting. Let's see. There we go. I get myself back over here. Ah, oh, shoot, I need the mouse again. There we go. Now I can come back here, perfect. But yeah, I know, that was a blast. I think we did a great job. <laughs> Uh, not dying, uh, but definitely don't want to go in with just like a copper stabby stabby. It's a bit rough if you go in with just a copper stabby stabby. That was wild. <laughs> okay, get this bad boy cooking. Okay, cooking the last little bit of the croco meat. Um, let me put us back on full screen. Because I know you can't tell I'm not full screen, but I can't see my little bottom bar of these croco meats. I'm cooking to see how many I have left to cook. Let's get this last shiny stone processing. There we go. Last of the croco meat. And um, let's grab our, um, the majority of this. We'll leave one in here. 
We gotta smelt this. Let's grab um, a lot of this. That's a lot. <laughs> Put our boogie board up here for now with our tools. Cause we gotta get smelting that. Um, it's not gonna hurt to grab some tin, but we're probably not gonna be smelting any of that at the moment. There we go. As we mostly need to be smelting iron. And copper. There we go. Now we got everything on us. Now, while we're smelting this, let's get the iron and the good one. There we go. Let's get the copper and the, the hoopty. We need to get more of these bad boys, but if you can't tell, we have like 3,000... Uh, in the mining chest, I left them there, are 3,000 dinks. We have like no friggin' money. So one of the things I'm probably going to do when we're off stream is you see how we have like literally a ton of fruit? I'm probably gonna go through, I'm gonna individually cook all of that. Cause if you individually cook it, it sells better than the fruit salads. But if I individually cook like the majority of that, that's gonna give us some money. <laughs> and that'll help, that'll definitely help. Uh, croco meat, let's finish cooking that. Now, um, let's track the recipe real quick. Cause we wanted to make these wheat thingies and I want us to at least be able to make one wheat thingy. Um, old wheel gear and some copper bars. So we're gonna grab this real quick. We're gonna get the copper going in. I believe we have some uh, other copper bars that we've already smelted. Yes, we do. We'll grab these bad boys. And we need some gumwood planks. Uh, we're gonna grab those all old gears and old wheels and let's make these real quick because that was our goal i want to accomplish our goal so let's grab some old gears and some old wheels and let's make them we we'll grab this bad boy we'll get a little bit more copper processing real quick um let's get another meat cooking on the, the barbie and we're gonna process these. One, two. We need more gumwood planks. <laughs> that was exciting. Like one, two. Oh, oh, that, yeah, that's everything. <laughs> Let's uh, get these logs going. <laughs> oh, goodness. But yeah, our shed is really cool. I'll show you the inside of the shed. Um, I should have probably done that. Let's get the croco meat going. Over to the shed. And the great thing about late night is anything that doesn't take energy, you can just sit here and do. The time is not moving at all. So our shed is made. See? Now we have a storage shed. It could be a guest house or whatever you wanted, but that's gonna be our storage shed. So very exciting. Let's grab this meat, put this last meat on. Let's process these logs. Ooh, let's grab that bad boy, that bad boy, process these, and our logs. Super exciting. Oh, let's put these back down here. That makes it a little bit easier. And process these. We need a few more of these. Um, now, I do want to have quite a few of these. We're going to rearrange all of these eventually. I'm just kind of placing them out wherever at the moment. But once we have the other half of this uh, house area built up on the platform, we're going to figure out where we want stuff for processing versus what, you know? I think that'd be very good. Whew, I know that was an adventure and a half, but thank you for sticking around through it. <laughs> I do feel we're getting better at the mines. Uh, the luck on the rooms vastly is dependent on where they're spawned at. Oh, it's, uh, we haven't placed it. Here we go. Oh, the storage shed. Sorry, I thought you meant these. Yeah, it's all good. It's been a chaos stream. Okay, how many of these have we made now? Is that four? Grain mills. That'll have us up to five. Let's make one more so we have six. Because that seems a reasonable amount of grain mills for now. Um, let's place these bad boys down. Grain mills, guys. We can start actually up level, upgrading our level of our, um, what's the word for it? Farming. Now, let's grab this, it's in the way. <laughs> and let's grab, where did I put those? Over here. 
processing the grain. Now, I know this isn't the most organized. Um, we are literally have a massive amount of grain processing things and none for these, but we're gonna have this all other side of the platform and we'll lay it out proper at some point. But for now, guess what this means? We can take these lovely grass seeds, wherever I put them, and that'll help us level up our gardening by tossing these bad boys in here. And this is gonna give us free animal food. Um, at this point in time, we're not too worried about animal food, but we are prepared. We are prepared. We'll get this bad boy in here. Oh, wrong, wrong machine. <laughs> and we'll get this bad boy in here because he can't handle iron. And some more logs. So I am pretty happy with the progress we made. Um, I think what we'll do is Reaps is um, actually streaming right now and he's doing um, some cool stuff in his stream. Um, let me make sure he's still alive. I'm gonna raid us on over there because I'm gonna hang out in Reaps before I go to bed because I gotta be at work at midnight Eastern. Let me make sure he's alive. One sec. Because sometimes YouTube lies, lies. he is live. So hang tight, I'm gonna get us raiding on over. Um, when it pops up, do select the option to go over and it will take you over to the raid and just do hashtag Barb plays raid and we'll hang out and reap stream together. So thanks for hanging out guys. I'll see you over in reap sentence over now.